Keep dreaming. There's everything in the dream, but don't wake up. Yi Tian hears the speech and sneers. We'll see. The man on the other side of the phone said coldly and hung up directly. Which hospital are those disfigured patients in? We'll be right there. When Yi Tian heard the phone hang up, he immediately turned to look at Qin Luoshan and said in a deep voice. Nanhai People's Hospital what, you're worried that something might happen to them? Ning Shui hears this words, the vision one stagnates, then nervous ask away. Yes, we'll be right there. Yi Tian looks awe-inspiring and nods solemnly. Just the guy on the phone, attitude is too fearless, a sure look of them, this let Yi Tian feel, in addition to disfigurement of each other after this move, there must be a backhand. And the arrangement of these hands must be on the three disfigured patients. Ning Shui hears the sound, excites Ling Ling to beat a shiver, follow Yi Tian, then hurry toward the door. Miss Ning, what do you want to say about the disfigurement of three patients caused by Shu Eji Cream? Do you feel guilty? And scrupulous and unscrupulous businessmen, and scrupulous manufacturers, your kind of enterprises are national scum and internal tumor of the industry. If I were you, now I would go to those patients and apologize by cesarean section. I'd like to thank them by death. Rubbish, you still have a face. You look pretty, but how can you be as black as a crow? Why don't you take some medicine and disfigure yourself? As soon as Ning Shuegan walked out of the door, the reporters would hula around, or ask questions sharply, or directly scold repeatedly. Flash flash, as well as a noisy question, let Ning Shui's head almost burst open, even involuntarily have a kind of whirling feeling. Although she had long expected that as long as she appeared, she would certainly lead to these questions, but she did not expect that the scene was so noisy that it was frightening. Bang! Not only that, when Ning Shui was flustered, along the distance, suddenly came a whistling sound. She looked up and saw that someone had thrown a fist-sized stone at her. The roaring trend made her feel that as long as she hit it, not only her head would be broken, but also her face would be completely destroyed. Just, at this moment, look flustered if she, already forgot to dodge, just Jing Zheng stand at the same place, Lang Lang of looking at that stone whistling head on fly. Brush! But at this time, Yi Tian stretched out his hand and squeezed the stone firmly in his palm. Whoosh! Immediately after that, Yi Tian's hand shakes, and the stone flies back along the original road. Not far from the center, Cheng San is holding a mobile phone, and his face is full of expecting smile. Bang! The stone's speed was extremely fast. In the blink of an eye, he was on the middle of the third forehead. In a flash, his smile solidified on his face. After a touch of bright red blood trickled down his forehead, his body fell like a wall and fainted. What Yi Tian dislikes most is Chang San, who is like a cockroach hiding in the dark to put a cold gun in the garbage. He must not be soft-hearted to this kind of person, otherwise, the other party will not think you are kind, but will think you are weak and can be bullied, and will make it worse. Ah, someone fainted. Something happened, someone died. Cheng San's fall immediately causes a riot among the people who surround Ning Shui. Go taking advantage of this opportunity, Yi Tian reaches for Ning Shui's wrist and pushes the crowd away. Then he strides into the car parked not far away. With one foot of accelerator, he drives away from the crowd and rushes towards the hospital. Sorry, I I. On the way, rather snow this just wake up from amazement, looking at Yi Tian, full face apology way. She can't imagine what would happen if she didn't have Yi Tian to deal with the scene just now. I'm afraid she would not be able to get away from the siege, but would be smashed to the head in blood. This led her to own incomparable disappointment, blame oneself how all have no handle affairs not surprised appearance, feel ashamed to Yi Tian's trust. Needless to say I'm sorry, no one is Superman. It's impossible to deal with such a thing easily. Leaf Day smell speech, looking at rather snow to smile. Although Ning Shui didn't deal with it very well this time, Yi Tian didn't lose confidence in Ning Shui. Rome wasn't built in a day, and cultivation couldn't be achieved overnight. A person's ability to deal with things, let alone being born perfect. He believes that with this experience, Ning Shui will be more able to handle things in the future. Thank you. I'll try. Ning Shui looks at Yi Tian's appearance and feels more guilty in her heart. She slowly pinches her five fingers tightly. 
She secretly vows that she will never let Yi Tian down again, but, guilt, her heart is full of curiosity, don't understand, clearly just a college student Yi Tian, in the face of these things, how can be so calm, deal with freely? Is it difficult? There are some strange people in this world. They are born with a strong heart. But she didn't know that when Yi Tian was in Fengsu and Lingyu, he had been beaten and attacked by many famous elites of Dan Dao. Those means were much more cruel than those of Ning Shui. Even Yi Tian suffered a few dark losses at that time. It was at that time that he sharpened his strong heart and his way of doing things. It is just like this that he will not be surprised when facing the threat from the person on the phone, and will not take the other person's words seriously at all. Big wind and big waves are coming. If you turn over a boat in a small sewer, it will make people laugh. A moment later, the car came to the gate of Nanhai People's Hospital. Why so many people? As soon as she arrived at the gate of the hospital, Ning Shui immediately saw that many people gathered at the gate of the hospital. Besides some media reporters, there were also many ordinary passers-by. No, someone jumped off the building. Ah, Ning's pharmaceutical industry is really black-hearted. The scar-removing medicine sold by Ning's pharmaceutical company has made people disfigured. Now, it's good. They've jumped from the building in pain. They're waiting to lose their property. Yes, this kind of unscrupulous pharmaceutical company, working without conscience, earns money with a black conscience. I heard that the boss of their family is a pretty girl. Unexpectedly, he only has a pretty face, and his heart is black. As soon as Ning Shui got out of the car, he immediately heard the low noise of passers-by. What? Disfigured patients want to jump. Ning Shui hears the sound, her head immediately hums, and her expression is immediately flustered. But the next second, she forcefully pinches her leg, calms herself down with pain, and then looks toward the inpatient department building in the distance. As soon as she could see, there was a figure hovering on the edge of the roof above the inpatient building. Obviously, this is the patient who was disfigured by Xu Eji ointment. It's broken. When you see the shadow of the moment, rather Snow's heart, immediately suddenly sink down. You know, there is a Chinese saying that the dead are the greatest. Once this patient jumps out of a building, it will cause an uproar. The topic of Ning's pharmaceutical industry kills people will fill the front pages of major media and the hot search list of major websites. At that time, Ning's pharmaceutical industry and Xu Eji ointment will fall into verbal criticism and be completely engulfed by public opinion. Even if it is found out in the end that Xu Eji cream has no problem, the storm of disfigurement of Xu Eji cream and Ningxia pharmaceutical killing people will still persist, which will have a very serious negative impact on Ningxia pharmaceutical and Xu Eji cream, and even directly lead to the bankruptcy of Ningxia pharmaceutical and the suspension of sales of Xu Eji cream. What's more, she realized now that I'm afraid that the guy on the phone had been so bold and confident that they would give up when they got there. I'm afraid that the good play of jumping from a building had already been arranged. It's just that what kind of handle did the patient have? In other words, what problems did he encounter? He would not hesitate to destroy his appearance and was willing to commit suicide by jumping off a building. She must be saved. But at this moment, rather Snow has no time to think so much, but looking at the side of the leaf day, word by word of the sinkway, if she has a good or bad, that guy's plot on the phone will succeed, Snow Cream is completely over. Don't worry, I'm here, nothing can happen. Yi Tian chuckles and affirms, and then walks quickly to the inpatient department building. From Ning Shui's words just now, he has judged that he really didn't read the wrong person. After the previous panic, Ning Shui has calmed down at the moment. Otherwise, if you see someone jumping off a building, you must be nervous and at a loss. You don't know what to do. You won't immediately judge that the jumping event is guided by people and related to snow the survival of muscle ointment. A few minutes later, Yi Tian followed Ning Shui to the downstairs of the inpatient department building. Elder sister, there's nothing in the world that can't go through. Relax and don't do anything stupid. Yes, what's bigger than your own life? Go back quickly, don't be confused for a moment. Think of your family. How sad they would be if you did it. Downstairs of the inpatient department, several doctors and onlookers yelled to the upstairs, hoping that the patient who wanted to jump off the building would change his mind. 
But the patient on the top of the building, after hearing these words, not only did not retreat, but his body trembled for a while, and then walked towards the edge of the roof. Not only that, when she was close to the edge, her body trembled violently, and seemed to fall from the roof at any time. Ah! This tottering appearance made the people downstairs tremble. Some of them were so timid that they could not help crying out, and their legs began to tremble. Why hasn't the fire department arrived yet? Didn't you call the police? Why hasn't it happened yet? Go and get some cotton wadding or something and put it around you. Even if you jump down, you may be able to save your life. Not only that, many people are more anxious to look around, let some people take quilts and other things, make a cushion, in this way, even if the patient jumps down, there may be a ray of life. It's useless. If you jump down from more than 10 floors, even if you have cotton wadding, you are doomed to die without a burial place. But soon, many people around them shook their heads and thought that even if they put something on the mat, it would not help. You're down there, I'll go up. Yi Tian is relieved to see that people haven't jumped down yet. He whispers to Ning Shui, and then instantly turns into a figure. He jumps up from the crowd, jumps over their heads, and climbs up along the walls of the inpatient building. Seeing the exterior wall of the inpatient department building, there were suddenly more people, and everyone was stunned. What is he going to do? One wants to jump down and the other to climb up. What's the matter? Immediately after, the crowd became a riot, all eyes are focused on Yi Tian, do not understand what he is doing. What will Yi Tian do? Of course he wants to save people. As for how to do it? Simple. In the twinkling of an eye, Yi Tian climbed to the third floor, grabbed some bulges of the outer wall, and jumped up. That action is as light as the ape climbing in the mountains every day. It's amazing. Wow my god? Is this guy Spider-Man? Master. This is definitely a legendary master everyone was full of exclamation and murmuring. This is the wall. Vertical into 90 degrees, almost no defects in the wall. In this way, with two hands to climb up. Isn't it more Spider-Man than Spider-Man in the movie? Just, how can such a magical character appear in real life? Has the world changed? The crowd downstairs was shocked, but Yi Tian's action didn't stop. In front of him, the vertical wall was like a flat ground. He climbed up easily without delay. Just less than two minutes, Yi Tian's body has climbed to half. This scene, so that all the people in the room to the point of admiration, the heart is like watching action movies, pulled into a ball. But they didn't know that Yi Tian chose to climb because he didn't want to show his ability to fly with the sword in front of people. Otherwise, he would rise with the sword and save the patient easily. Oh, no, she's going to jump. But just then, in the crowd down the stairs, there was a sudden noise. I saw that the disfigured patient standing on the roof of the building went to the edge of the roof, opened his hands and took a step. My god it's over. That's the end of it looking at this scene, everyone was frightened and exclaimed. Many people even closed their eyes and did not dare to see the coming human tragedy. No. Yi Tian sees this, the vision is Tiny Lin, the eye ground of fine on flash. Then, when the disfigured patient was about to appear in front of him, he pushed his hands and feet towards the wall at the same time, and his body soared into the air, reaching for the patient. He jumped, too. Everyone was stunned by the scene. Where is this to save people? It's clear that we should die together. Even if they catch the disfigured patient, they will fall down together. At that time, the death will not be one person, but two lives. It's too rash and unreasonable to put yourself in the way of saving people. What about that? Not to mention the people around, even Ning Shui is stunned to see Yi Tian's action at the moment, as if seeing the tragic picture of Yi Tian falling from the roof with the patient. But will Yi Tian take himself in? Of course not. Downstairs, when people and Ning Shui are worried, he is close to the disfigured patient. With an extension of his right arm, he tightly holds her waist in his arms, so that she can't get away from her control. What are you doing? Disfigured patient C, looking at Yi Tian, panic hair asked. Save you, of course. Yi Tian looked at the disfigurement patient and said with a smile. Help me? Hearing this, 
the disfigurement patient's face immediately showed a strong color of guilt. He thought that Yi Tian was a rescue worker who was dragged down by himself. Said late, then fast, blink of an eye, two people have already descended to the third floor position. And the speed of decline, also faster and faster, from the landing, less than a few seconds. But just at this critical moment, Yi Tian, as if he had already made a plan, whispered. His empty left hand popped out and grabbed the edge of the third floor window. Whoa! Originally just flesh and blood, the palm of the hand, under the mana infusion, burst out with a power comparable to a sharp blade, and directly sank into the reinforced concrete wall. In a flash, the momentum of the fall stopped. But at this time, the inertia brought by the fall, but pulling two people's bodies, hit the wall heavily. Bang! Seeing this, Yi Tian turns around and protects the disfigured patient with his body. His body and the wall collide with each other. This violent impact, even if Yi Tian is already the fifth floor of the cave, but also can't help but send out a dull hum. But when he saw the disfigured patient in his arms, he felt a little relieved. In any case, it was finally saved, and it didn't lead to bad results. Brush. 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 Immediately after, Yi Tian's hand slightly loosened, and with three or two efforts, he held the disfigured patient and stood firmly on the ground floor. It's a success. The man who jumped from the building was saved. All the people at the scene looked at Yi Tian and the disfigured patient in his arms and fell into a dead silence. After a long time, thunderous applause and cheers suddenly broke out. Everyone clapped their hands with excitement. Even if it's red, it still doesn't stop. Hero. Hero, hero. Hero immediately after that, I don't know who took the lead in shouting. In a moment, there was a consistent cry in the whole scene. Such a thrilling act, how to give warm treatment, is not too much. Mom, why are you so confused? Why do you want to jump? At this time, along the back of the crowd, a skinny young man in hospital uniform, who looked very bad, ran to the disfigured patient, wiped his tears and murmured. This guy is so dead. When Yi Tian heard this, he aimed his eyes at the young man with Yu Tian's eyes. He immediately found that there was not much normal anger in the young man's body. Instead, there was a black air full of disease. Ma! The young man couldn't stop sobbing, but his physical foundation was too bad. After sobbing for a while, his body trembled and his face turned pale, which made people feel that he might faint at any time. Your mother is okay, relax, you also have to protect the end of the body. Seeing this, Ning Shui patted the young man's back in a hurry and said softly. When the young man heard this, he nodded gratefully. But when he saw Ning Shui's cheek, an unhealthy blush immediately floated on her pale cheek. He shook his hands, pointed to Ning Shui and said angrily, You it's you, it's you who made my mother like this. Words export, the whole body of the young man is shivering it can be seen that the anger in his heart is surging to what extent at the moment. What do you say, young man? Looking at his excited appearance, the onlookers immediately asked with a puzzled face. She is the boss of Ning's pharmaceutical company. The young man shivered all over his body. It turns out that she is the boss of the Black Heart Pharmaceutical Company. She is so young and beautiful. How can she be so vicious? Knowing people, knowing face, not knowing heart. It looks like a beautiful woman, but in fact, it's like a snake and a scorpion. I said why they were so nervous just now. It turned out that they were afraid that people would die and their enterprises would take responsibility. As soon as he heard this, the people around him stared at Ning Shui and immediately recognized that she was indeed the leader of Ning's pharmaceutical industry. The admiration on her face immediately turned to scorn and cold rebuke. In the blink of an eye, Yi Tian became a hero in the hearts of all the people before him, and became a street mouse that everyone called to fight. Please believe that there is absolutely no problem with our cream. Ning Shui looked at the scolding voice of the people around, looked at the young man, and explained sincerely. Since your cream is okay, what's the matter with my mother? Is she disfigured? The young man listened to Yi Tian's words, and his face was more angry. He asked breathlessly. Rather snow smell speech, look a stagnant, open mouth, but can't say a word. 
Yes, is it difficult or is it impossible for others to destroy their own face? There's something wrong with the medicine, but I won't admit it. You are a pretty girl, but why are you so vicious? This kind of person is full of money. For money, let alone selling fake medicine, I think she would like to do something else. Looking at the appearance of Ning Shui, many people follow the tone of helpfulness. They only think that although Ning Shui is beautiful, it is actually detestable. You contact the reporter, we are here to hold a press conference on the snow cream disfigurement event. But at this time, Yi Tian looked at Ning Shui and said slowly. Hold a press conference here? Ning Shui hears the sound and looks at Yi Tian in amazement. Some of them can't understand it, but knowing that Yi Tian won't be aimless, she nods without thinking, takes out her mobile phone and starts to contact various media. You just asked your mother about her disfigurement, didn't you? Immediately after, Yi Tian looks at the sick young man and smiles quietly. I appreciate you for saving my mother, but don't think that I will forget what you black-hearted people have done to my mother. The sick young man hears the sound and looks at Yi Tianxian's voice. I saved her, just pitying a human life. I didn't expect you to repay me anything. Yi Tian smiles indifferently, and then says, however, since you are curious about why your mother is disfigured, I might as well tell you that the reason for her disfigurement is not snow cream. Not only that, the reason for her jumping off the building is not because of disfigurement, but because of the same reason as disfigurement. The same reason, what reason? The sick young man hears it and looks at Yi Tian in doubt. He doesn't understand what he means. And the disfigurement patient on the ground, in his eyes, is suddenly exposed to flustered. It's simply because of you. Yi Tian hands a lift, pointing to the sick young man, a word of heavy voice. Because of me? What are you talking about? How could I let my mother destroy her face and make her jump off the building? Sick young man smell speech a lang, then mockingly looking at Yi Tian, cold way. Yes, because of you. Yi Tianping nodded quietly, and continued to be calm. At the beginning, he was really curious about why this person would willingly disfigure himself, even obey the man's words on the phone and make such a move. But when he saw the sick young man, his doubts were immediately solved. The answer is very simple, that is, all this woman has done is for the sick young man in front of her, take his own life, give him medical expenses, for him in exchange for the hope of living. No way. It's absolutely impossible the sick young man, listening to Yi Tian's words, was sneering, but when his eyes fell on his mother's face, his expression suddenly stagnated. Then he looked at her, his voice trembled and said, Mom, you tell me that he is not like this. Disfigurement patient's lips murmur, cheek bandaged, cannot see the expression, but that pair of exposed eyes, look as extremely complex. You want to save your son and find the possibility to live for him. It's not wrong but Shuaji ointment is just like my son. I worked hard to develop it. There's no difference between destroying him and killing my son. Yi Tian took a look at her, and then slowly continued, do you really intend to destroy the medicine that can help countless patients with scars in order to save your son, let them continue to live in low self-esteem, and let those who rely on the production of Shuaji cream to earn their wages and support their families lose their sources of income? Those workers, they also have sons and daughters, I I wow. Disfigurement patients listen to Yi Tian's words, eyes changed and changed, after a long time, cry out. Although she did not say anything, but only from her performance at the moment, we can see what the truth is. Is this really a case of injustice? Do we really misunderstand Ning Pharmaceutical? Why does it look like there's something we don't know? As far as I know, the reputation of Shu Eji ointment has always been very good. There are many patients who buy shuaji ointment. How can only four people have problems? If this ointment really doesn't work, many people will have accidents. At this time, the onlookers gradually regained their senses from their anger. They felt that things were not as simple as they thought. Inside, there was something they didn't know. You lied. You were lying after staring at his mother for a long time, the sick young man pointed to Yi Tian and hissed. I cheat? Yi Tian looked at him with a smile, then turned his head, looked at Ning Shui, said, Our snow cream, how much is the price? The production cost of Shueji cream is relatively high, so our price is 51 bottles, 100 milliliters for each bottle. 
Ming Shui tells Yi Tian the answer without thinking. As soon as the sick young man heard the price, his face suddenly changed and he staggered back a few steps. It seems that you also want to understand. Yi Tian saw his look, chuckled, and then said slowly, in order to treat you, your family should have been hollowed out. I see that your mother's clothes have been patched. Do you think that on her condition, she will be willing to give you 500 yuan to buy a bottle of medicine with only 100 milliliters? The young man's look, at this moment, has been extremely painful. He wants to deny, but everything is exactly what Yi Tian said. In order to cure his illness, what he could sell at home had been sold short for a long time. Not only that, but also his mother did her best to save every penny. As far as he knows, she hasn't bought a new dress for three years. All of them are mended by old clothes. With such a family in such a situation, how could she be willing to give her son the money to save his life and buy a bottle of unimportant scar medicine? No, it's impossible. The young man shook his head repeatedly, his face was full of disbelief, his face was pale, his forehead was dripping with sweat, his body was shaking, and he could fall unconscious at any time. Auntie, do you want to keep it a secret now? Yi Tian looks down at the disfigured woman calmly and slowly. I sorry I really can't think of a way. If I don't, where can I get his medical expenses? Disfigured woman lips murmured for a long time, and then powerless lowered his head, tears like a broken line, Susu fall. It's true. Mother is really in order to save themselves, at the expense of their own lives. The young man looked at his mother, trembling, but could not say a word. Before he came here, he was full of hatred for Ning Shui and Ning's pharmaceutical industry, and felt that they had caused such a tragedy. Even if he is weak, he has the idea of killing people. But now, he found that it was not Ning Shui and Ning's pharmaceutical industry that led to all this, not Shui Ji Gao, but him. If it wasn't for his medical expenses or his survival, his mother would never have made such a choice. In this way, he realized that the person he should hate is not others, but himself. At this moment, he could not say a word, but felt that he was the most useless and shameful person in the world. It turns out that there is something else. We almost misunderstood a conscience pharmaceutical company. How could that be alas? How can we say that is good? The onlookers also sighed and looked at the mother and son with complicated eyes. They want to reprimand them for planting and harming others, but they can't say a word when they look at the poor mother and son. If they were not forced to do nothing, how could they make such a choice? Miss Ning, I'm really sorry. I apologize to you. We misunderstood you. You are not the kind of black-hearted pharmaceutical companies. I apologize for my irresponsible words and deeds. You can rest assured that I will tell the truth. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for the articles I wrote earlier that slandered Ning's pharmaceutical industry. And some of the media who saw the development of things nearby also showed guilt and apologized to Ning Shui. They thought that they had found a drug company with a black heart but they didn't expect that things were not what they thought. Their situation can be explained, but what about the other two disfigured people? Immediately after that, a reporter asked suspiciously. Yes, her disfigurement has come to an end. What about the other two? Don't those two people use this method to smear black snow cream and slander Ning's pharmaceutical industry on purpose? A language falls, many people around show the color of confusion, looking at Ning Shui and Yi Tian, inquisitive inquiry. This question should not be asked to us, but to both of them. Yi Tian smiles, looks down at the mother and son, and says, what's the truth, you should tell it? Ai ai. Hearing this, the disfigured patient raised his head and his lips trembled. He just wanted to say something, but the next second, his eyes changed. He shook his head in a hurry and said slowly, no one told me. It's all my own obsession. I really can't find a way to get money, so I think of such a way. I'm sorry, you can do whatever you want to. When Yi Tian heard this, he frowned slightly, and the rest of the light swept towards the crowd. Soon, his eyes locked on a young man with a green dragon tattooed on his arm. This guy, different from the curious expression of the people around him, has a nervous expression and a sweat on his forehead. Don't worry, I won't pursue you, but do you want to make mistakes again and again and continue to help Tyrant? 
And at this time, rather Snow frowned, looking at the woman on the ground, slowly way. I really didn't cheat you. I really thought about all this. No one told me to. The woman shook her head and continued to deny it. Well, that's it. Don't ask any more questions. Let's go and see the other two. When Ning Shui is depressed and wants to ask more questions, Yi Tian suddenly pulls her and shakes her head. Forget it? Ning Shui looks at Yi Tian in consternation, some can't believe his ears. Although she knows that Yi Tian is a very kind person, and is certainly not willing to pursue the mother and son, he did not expect that Yi Tian did not choose to continue to find out the truth from them, but intended to stop there. But in this case, if we don't find out the real culprit, even if the matter is successfully solved this time, isn't Ning's pharmaceutical company going to continue to accept endless cold guns and hidden arrows? When will this kind of day come to an end? Yes, that's it. Let's go to the hospital and see the other two. Yi Tian nodded, calm, but the corner of his eyes, but firmly locked the young man in the crowd. Sure enough, the young man was obviously relieved when he said, just let it go. When he heard that he was going to meet the other two people, he became nervous again, and then walked quickly to the hospital building. Wait a minute. Seeing this, Yi Tian smiles indifferently and looks at the figure of the young man with flower arms. Hearing this, the young man lowered his head and went on to the inpatient building as if he had not heard him. I told you to wait, can't you hear me? Seeing this, Yi Tian steps forward, raises his hand and puts it on the shoulder of the young man with flower arms. After stopping him, he smiles. What can I do for you? Hearing Yi Tian's words, the young man with flower arms looks confused, but he soon regains his peace and pretends to be confused and asks. What are you doing in there? Leaf Day picks eyebrow to smile, light way. Nonsense, I come to the hospital, of course, to see the patients. Flower arm young man speechless a, shook to shake a shoulder, then prepare to shake Leaf Day's hand from the shoulder. But to his surprise, Yi Tian's hand was as sticky as his shoulder. He shook it hard, but he didn't shake it. Which ward on the floor of the inpatient department is the patient you want to see? What disease does he have? Yi Tian looks at the young man of flower arm playfully, light pursue away. I? The young man with flower arms looks confused and opens his mouth, but he doesn't know what to say. But soon, he looks at Yi Tian unhappily and says, Who are you and why should I report these things to you? Climb away say words, his hand a lift, then to Leaf Day's arm to pull. Poop. But before he could raise his hand, he felt that Yi Tian's hand on his shoulder was suddenly as heavy as a mountain. Half of his body was soft, and his knees trembled, so he fell on his knees uncontrollably. You don't want to say that? Or don't know what to say? Yi Tian continues to look at the young man with flower arms kneeling on the ground with a smile. His strength in his hand is a little heavier. Just a few breaths, the young man felt that the bones on his shoulders were about to be crushed, his face was pale, and a layer of sweat the size of soybeans came out of his forehead kill. Come on, someone's killed. Under the sharp pain, the young man with flower arms could not bear it. He cried bitterly at the top of his voice. Do any of you know him? Yi Tian ignores his shouting, turns his head to look at those people around him, calms down. I don't know. I'm familiar with people, but I remember that this young man was the first one who called for someone to jump here before. Yes, I remember that he was the one who made the most trouble just now. He told us that it was Xu Eji ointment that caused people to do this, and he encouraged us to make trouble in Ning's pharmaceutical industry. The onlookers stared at the young man with flowered arms. After looking at him, they said everything. With a word, the young man turned pale. Are they true? Did you just call it the most fierce? Yi Tian looks down at the young man of flower arm, light way. So what if it's me? Lao Tzu has a sense of justice. I'm not used to seeing you. Is there a problem? Hearing the news, the young man with flower arms stubbles his neck and bears the sharp pain. He takes out the kind of generous attitude of street life and speaks loudly to Yi Tian. Since you are willing to admit it, please shut up. Yi Tian hears the sound, his hand is slightly strong, and he only hears a click. After the young man with flower arms howls and collapses to the ground, he turns his head and looks at the disfigured patient on the ground, and slowly says, 
he can't threaten you now, you know what, just say, don't worry, with me, those people can't do anything to you. I I. The disfigurement patient looked at the young man with flower arm and then at his son. His eyes were complicated and he faltered. Mom, who gave you this idea? Please tell me. I need money for medical treatment and want to live, but I can't use this kind of money to make myself live. You have told me that even if you are poor, you should be so poor that you have backbone. If you live like that, you might as well die. At this time, the sick young man suddenly looked at his mother and prayed. This guy has a lot of guts. The leaf day hears a sound, some surprised to see one eye to him, in the vision peep out of put on surprised color. He saw many people who would do anything to survive, but few people who had a bottom line like this young man. He was the one who asked me. He told me that as long as I was disfigured, he could give me a large sum of money, so that Zhuang Zhuang could get the best treatment and recover his health. Hearing the young man's words, the disfigured patient wiped the corners of his eyes and choked, so, I destroyed my face with sulfuric acid, and then pushed these things to shoe edgy ointment according to what he said. Damn it, I can think of such an idea. This guy, is his conscience eaten by the dog? In order to do harm to others, do whatever it takes. Damn thing, such rubbish, it's hard to get rid of a thousand cuts. The onlookers listened to the disfigured patient's words, one by one filled with righteous indignation, gnashing their teeth and looking at the young man with flower arms, hoping to tear him apart. Not long ago, he came to me again and gave me all the money he had promised me. Then he asked me, since I have been disfigured, even if I live, I am a monster. Do you want to earn more money so that Zhuang 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 can buy a house, marry a wife and have children and live well after he has cured his illness? He said that as long as I was willing to commit suicide, he would put enough money into the account to Zhuang Zhuang. At this time, disfigured patients continue to walk slowly. Beast. It's not as good a beast as a pig or a dog. This guy should be killed. All the blood in his veins is ink. How can there be such a vicious person in this world? The onlookers were completely out of anger. Some ants who couldn't listen to him could not restrain their anger. They rushed to the young man with flower arms and spit at him. Sure enough, Yi Tian looked coldly at the young man with flowered arms, and his expression was indifferent. The truth of the matter is basically the same as his guess. In order to capture Shu Eji Cream, these guys deliberately found several people who were in urgent need of money, either suffering from cancer or for some other reason, lured them into disfigurement, and then put the blame on Shu Eji Cream. When these people get money through disfigurement, they use the psychology of these people to find the most miserable one, and then lure him to commit suicide, so as to detonate public opinion and die without confrontation. However, Yi Tian is very clear that this young man with flower arms can never be the culprit behind the scenes. This guy, at most, is an errand man. He can't make such a big situation. There are definitely people behind this guy. Who just called the police? Isn't someone going to jump? Where's the jumper? At this time, several police and firefighters rushed to see the crowd, the police immediately asked. The man who jumped off the building has been saved. It's okay, but this guy, abetting others to commit suicide, and deliberately discrediting others, is a heinous crime. Comrade police, you should catch him quickly. As soon as the crowd saw the police coming, they immediately told the whole story. Is that the case? After hearing these words, the police suddenly became nervous, looked at the disfigured patient and asked. It's true. I have the guarantee he wrote for me and the transfer record. After the disfigurement patient looked at his son, when he saw his son nodding to her, he sobbed and told the truth. We're going to take this man away for investigation, don't you mind? After hearing the truth, the police immediately became nervous, and then looked at Yi Tian and Ning Shui in a deep voice. Abetting others to commit suicide, maliciously discrediting others and causing huge economic losses are all felonies, which must be strictly investigated. No comment. Ning Shui believed the police, nodded her head without thinking and said, but I have a request. I hope you can accompany us to the hospital to see the other two patients and confirm their situation. Of course, no problem. That's what we need to verify. The police nodded without thinking, and then, together with Yi Tian and Ning Shui, 
They went to the inpatient department building with a crowd of reporters and the crowd watching. The police came forward, and the young man had been arrested. The other two disfigured patients just made a few quibbles, and the disguise was punctured. Not only that, the hospital also got the test results at this time, confirmed that the three disfigurement patients, disfigurement is due to the application of diluted sulfuric acid, really has nothing to do with shu edgy ointment. The truth has come to light. Trust the police, we will give you a result in a few days. After finding out the truth, the police who dare to come salute Ning Shui and Yi Tian, fill in the police record, then turn and leave. The two disfigurement patients who didn't jump from the building were crying and desperate. These two guys are both gamblers who lose their money. They really can't fill in the hole. So they listened to Hua Arm Youth's words and exchanged their disfigurement for money. By the way, they planned to blackmail Ning's pharmaceutical industry. However, they did not expect that their appearance was destroyed, but the matter was revealed. In this way, the money they had expected from the young people with flowery arms, as well as the money blackmailed, became nothing. What's more, they didn't get the money. Instead, they were completely destroyed. In the future, they could only show themselves as a monster. Mr. Yi, Miss Ning, I'm sorry. I'm so confused that I did such a stupid thing. Thank you for not pursuing me. Lu Feng, the disfigurement patient who jumped from a building, waited until the police left with the young man with flower arms. Together with her son, she went to Yi Tian and Ning Shui and bowed to them. For Lu Feng three things, the police asked Ning Shui's attitude, determined that she did not intend to pursue the three people, and look at the three of them have been disfigured, they did not pursue their responsibility. Otherwise, the actions of the three of them constitute a crime of fraud. They not only have to go to jail, but also have to pay a large sum of money. You're welcome. If you want to, thank you for raising a good son. Yi Tian hears the speech, looking at Lu Feng, Ice Complex shook his head. Among the three people, only Lu Feng's situation is the most special. The two gamblers are not worthy of sympathy, but what she has done is hateful, but it is all because of a mother's love, in order to let her son live. Such a person, poor, far more than hateful. Lu Feng wiped her tears with remorse. She felt that the future was dark and there was no hope. In the past, she was in good health, but she still couldn't earn the money to cure the disease, let alone after her disfigurement. Mom, don't think about it so much. With my illness, I've made money living with you for so long. We can't expect too much. Zhuang Zhuang sees this, grabs Lu Feng's hand, when Shang laughs. Lu Feng tears such as broken line, Susu hit the ground. If her son complains, she will feel better in her heart, but it's only when her son doesn't complain that she feels uncomfortable and useless. In fact, malignant lymphoma is not without treatment. But just at this time, Yi Tian, standing on one side, looked at the mother and son, and suddenly said slowly, word by word. It's true that malignant lymphoma is not incurable, but my situation has reached the point where my immune system has been damaged. It's a fluke to survive. There's no hope of cure. Lu Zhuangzhuang heard Yi Tian's words, shook his head with a bitter smile and said slowly. Malignant lymphoma, commonly known as lymphatic carcinoma, is a kind of cancer with high mortality. Because of the particularity of lymph nodes, once suffering from this disease, all immune systems of the whole body will suffer great damage. If it is in the early stage, timely detection may be helpful, but if it is in the late stage like Lu Zhuangzhuang, the cure rate is extremely low and because of the destruction of the immune system, the vitality of the patients themselves will become very poor. Even if the treatment conditions are good, the chance of saving their lives will be negligible. No, what I'm saying is that your situation is not incurable. The Leaf Day Smell speech, lightly smile to shake head, slowly weigh. Mr. Yi, do you have a way to cure Zhuang Zhuan? On hearing this, Lu Feng immediately grasped Yi Tian's hand and prayed. Lu Zhuangzhuang looks at Yi Tian suspiciously. Although he knows that since Yi Tian can develop shu edgy ointment, his medical skills must be excellent, but malignant lymphoma is different from scar, especially in his late stage. It is no less difficult to cure it than Deng Tian. Have you ever heard of cultivation? Yi Tian is not surprised by Lu Zhuangzhuang's performance at the moment. After a light smile, he looks at him and says, 
Lu Zhuanzhuan's condition is worse than Shi Xiong's mother's. Yi Tian can take out several pills to make him recover as usual, but the refined elixir is not easy to find. The easiest way to keep him alive is to practice. Cultivation can not only make people powerful, but also strengthen their vitality and improve their overall immunity. As long as Lu Zhuang embarks on the road of cultivation, he can use good money to drive out bad money, exert subtle influence, strengthen vitality, and restore all those cancer cells to normal. This is the simplest and safest way. Of course, in addition to this reason, it is Yi Tian's selfishness to throw out cultivation methods to Lu Zhuang Zhuang. Because he very much hopes that among the practitioners, there will be more people like Lu Zhuang Zhuang who can stick to the bottom line and control their own heart even in the face of such a big event as life and death. Even Yi Tian thinks that only such people are qualified to be practitioners. Practice? Lu Zhuang Zhuang looks at Yi Tian doubtfully, and he thinks it's absurd. After all, cultivation doesn't only exist in TV and novels. How can it really exist in real life? But looking at Yi Tian's expression, he felt that Yi Tian didn't seem to be joking with himself. I know it's hard for you to believe it, but don't you think there's something unusual about the way I just saved your mother? Yi Tian light smile, looking at Lu Zhuang Zhuang, said. Lu Zhuang Zhuang was stunned when he heard the news. Now in retrospect, just as Yi Tian said, the speed and ability Yi Tian showed when he climbed and appeared to save his mother before really didn't seem to be possessed by ordinary people. What's more, it's like a legendary cultivator. However, even if Yi Tian is a practitioner, shouldn't this kind of thing be extremely precious? How can he give it to himself? Can cultivation really cure Zhuang Zhuang? Would you like to teach him? Lu Feng looked at Yi Tian with a full face of hope, with a strong color of prayer, nervous. Like Lu Zhuang Zhuang, she is also extremely worried that Yi Tian is not willing to teach Lu Zhuang Zhuang how to practice, or put forward any harsh requirements. I can't guarantee 100%, but there's at least a 90% chance. Yi Tian chuckled, looked at Lu Zhuang Zhuang and said, as for the cultivation method, I can teach you now. I hope you have the right to choose what you don't want to learn. What? Yi Tian is really willing to teach the cultivation method? Lu Feng and Lu Zhuang Zhuang look at each other. In their eyes, both of them are excited. In addition to the excitement, they also show a strong sense of guilt. Lu Feng was instigated to frame Yi Tian's Shu Eji ointment, which nearly made a big mistake. But Yi Tianfei didn't pursue them. Instead, he was willing to find a way to cure Lu Zhuang Zhuang, and even taught him the precious cultivation method. All this, let Lu Feng hate can't find a ground crack to drill in. Not to mention the two of them, even Ning Shui was surprised. She also didn't expect that Yi Tian would be willing to help the mother and son. I will. Lu Zhuang's eyes changed a little, then he looked at Yi Tian and nodded. Good. It's a way to practice. Write it down. And this pill. Take it and it will be good for your cultivation. When Yi Tian heard the words, he nodded with a smile. After he taught Lu Zhuang the secret of heaven's creation, he took out a piece of Huang Lingdan from the storage ring and gave it to Lu Zhuang Zhuang. Huang Lingdan has the effect of cutting bones and washing marrow, which can help Lu Zhuang Zhuang step on the road of cultivation faster and guide the aura of heaven and earth into the body. Thank you, Mr. Yi. In the future, even if I'm an ox or a horse, I will certainly repay you for your kindness. Lu Feng wipes tears and kneels down in front of Yi Tian, kowtowing to her. What Yi Tian has done now makes her regret and shame to the extreme. Although she was forced to do nothing before, when she thought that she had done harm to such a good man, she felt her cheek tingling. She wanted to find a way to get in. Don't thank me. It's the same sentence I said before. If you want to thank me, thank you for teaching yourself a good son. Yi Tian waved his hand with a smile, and then looked at Lu Zhuang Zhuang and said, If you have anything you don't understand in the future, please contact me and I'll solve your doubts. Thank you Lu Zhuang's eyes were filled with tears, and he bowed to Yi Tian. He was too excited to say anything else except these three words. Yi Tian smiles and shakes his head, then takes Ning Shui and turns to leave the hospital. Good man good man how could I be so confused that I nearly harmed such a good man? Lu Feng looks at Yi Tian's back and wipes the tears from the corner of his eyes. Lu Zhuangzhuang pinches his fingers tightly and looks up at Yi Tian's back. 
He vows in his heart that in time, he must be such a person as Ji Tian. Not only as strong as he is, but also as strong as he is. Besides being strong, he has a good heart. That young man with flowery arms can't be the culprit behind the scenes. There must be others behind him. If the culprit is not found out, this kind of thing will happen again. After getting on the bus, Ning Shui looks at Yi Tian, worried. Not bad. Yi Tian nodded and then said with a smile, but I already know who he is. Believe me, he won't be around for long, do you think it's Chen Fan Fan? Ning Shui hears Yi Tian's words, the vision a change, way. Yi Tian nodded slightly. In fact, after the incident, he guessed that Chen Fan Fan should be the initiator of all this. After all, the listing of Shu Eji Cream has the greatest impact on Jinling pharmaceutical industry behind Chen Fan Fan. Similarly, when the drug conference was held, Chen Fan Fan lost face because Yi Tian was in front of everyone. With Chen Fan Fan's character, it's impossible not to retaliate. Moreover, his character is really the person who does such dirty things. Just, let rather snow some uneasy is, even though behind the scenes culprit is Chen Extraordinary, but they also have no real evidence, as long as that flower arm youth die not to let go, then they can only watch Chen Extraordinary at large. Just, think of that guy made this kind of evil behavior, but still can good live, rather snow in the heart of a burst of discomfort. Leave the rest to me. Yi Tian looks at Ning Shui and smiles. Then he takes out his mobile phone and dials Qin Luoshan's number and says, help me find a person named Qin Fan Fan. He should be in Nanhai City now. I want to know his specific location. Jinling Pharmaceutical Industry is also in the south of the Yangtze River. Yi Tian believes that with the status of the Qin family in the south of the Yangtze River, it is absolutely easy to find out the whereabouts of Qin Fan Fan. As long as he found Chen Fifan, then he has the final say, or is he willing to admit it? Well, I'll give you the results as soon as possible. At this time, after hearing Yi Tian's words, Qin Luoshan gave a short sentence and hung up the phone. Chen Fan Fan lives in room 2002 on the 20th floor of Tianhu Hotel. According to the information I got, he will return to Jinling tomorrow. You still have one night. More than 10 minutes later, Qin Luoshan called and told Yi Tian the detailed information. It's the first one in the south of the Yangtze River. It really deserves its reputation. Even Yi Tian, after hearing the speech, was slightly surprised by the speed and efficiency of the Qin family. Are you all right? Just, let Yi Tian some surprises, Qin Luoshan finished Chen Extraordinary News, did not hang up the phone, but abruptly asked a sentence. I'm fine. Although Yi Tian is a little confused, he nods and answers. That's good. Qin Luoshan flustered a word, then hung up the phone, secretly scolded himself, how to ask such a stupid and absurd question, Yi Tian Kai left not long ago, but not for ten days and a half months, how could it be good? But when she thought about it, she couldn't help feeling a little lost. It turns out that Yi Tian just left for a few hours, but how can he feel that he seems to have left for many days? Is that Miss Qin? At the same time, rather snow wait until Yi Tian hang up the phone, some careful to ask Yi Tian. Well. Yi Tian nodded and didn't deny anything. Rather snow hears a sound, the eye ground immediately flits past one to put on dim luz. Although she doesn't know what happened in Jiangnan, she can feel that the relationship between Yi Tian and Qin Luoshan seems to be getting closer after her trip to Jiangnan from the tone of the telephone conversation between Yi Tian and Qin Luoshan. Yi Tian looks at Ning Shui's appearance. For a moment, he doesn't know what to say. He knows that Ning Shui has feelings for herself. But it's a pity that he had already lived in a Ning Yao in his heart. For a moment, the carriage fell into an awkward silence. Ding Ling Ling at this time, a rush of telephone rings, Ning Shui connected, said a few words, hang up the phone, looking at Yi Tian Wei, the police there, said that the guy confessed, said that everything is his instigation, the purpose is to use Lu Feng their three disfigurement things, to extort Ning Pharmaceutical as some. It seems that he is willing to be the scapegoat. Yi Tian is not surprised by this result. Chen Fan Fan is not a fool. Before doing these things, he must have figured out the way back. He promised the young man with flowery arms what conditions he could meet as long as he didn't sell himself after the things were revealed. This Chen Fan Fan is really crafty. 
If he doesn't teach this guy a lesson, he will definitely come up with some tricks in the future. Ning Shui is angry, but there is nothing she can do. Flower Arm Youth confessed, and willing to plead guilty, then even the police, it is impossible in the absence of direct evidence, according to their one cited statement, launched an investigation of Chen Fan Fan. Don't worry, good and evil will be rewarded in the end. Since he has done evil, there is no reason for him to retreat. Yi Tianping looks at Ning Shui with a calm smile. Rather snow doubts to Leaf Day saw to see, don't understand why he can be so confident. After all, even if you know that Chen Fan Fan is in the boy's residence, so what? You can't go to the door and torture him. And in broad daylight, if Chen Fan Fan is not willing to open the door, if they really break in and extort a confession, it may not be Chen Fan Fan but Yi Tian who will suffer in the end. Tomorrow morning you will know. Yi Tian waved his hand with a smile, come. Chen Fan Fan may be very resourceful and cunning, but unfortunately, this guy bumped into his hand. He will let that guy understand that in front of the real power, any so-called conspiracy, will be like all this happened today, it will only be a meaningless farce. Time passed quickly, and soon it was dark. At midnight, the noisy urban area becomes quiet. Yi Tian leaves Ning's home and finds a quiet place. Then he runs his magic power and drives to the Tianhu Hotel. Tianhu Hotel is a star hotel in Nanhai City. It is located by the beautiful Tianhu Lake. There are no buildings and few people around. In addition, it's late at night, so Yi Tian doesn't worry that anyone will find himself. Room 2002, Yi Tian's eyes swept, then locked a room with a light on on the 20th floor of Tianhu Hotel from the sky. This is it. Yi Tian chided lightly, then pressed the flying sword and hovered out of the window, the French window of the room is not closed, Yi Tian's eyes sweep, and then see Chen Fan Fan is back to the window, sitting at the desk of the hotel, facing the computer, changing a form crazily. Financial Statements of Jin Ling Pharmaceutical Yi Tian's magic power moves, turns the source eye, and immediately sees the table head. This guy, who embezzled the assets of Jin Ling Pharmaceutical, is now making false accounts to fill the hole. Glancing over, Yi Tian immediately judges what Chen Fan Fan is doing at the moment. Seeing this scene, Yi Tian's mouth does not show any trace. With a smile, he uses the flying sword to fly into the room quietly, hovers behind Chen Fan Fan, then takes out his mobile phone, presses the record button, and begins to shoot Chen Fan Fan's action of modifying the form. Yu Yu. Chen Fan Fan changed, and suddenly felt that something was wrong behind him. He had the feeling of being watched. He turned his head and looked behind him. When he saw Yi Tianjing standing behind him, holding his mobile phone in his hand, after shooting, his body trembled, his legs trembled, and he slipped down from his chair directly. With a puff, he fell to the ground and trembled shake it out. He can't understand how Yi Tian, such a living man, suddenly appears behind him. You know, after he entered the room, he had checked it carefully, and there was no one in the room. Not only that, the place where he lived was not on the lower floor, but on the 20th floor, and it was covered with glass walls, which were extremely smooth. How could people get up to such a height? Even Spider-Man, I'm afraid it can't come up so quietly. You go on with your work, leave me alone. With a playful smile on his face, Yi Tian grabs an orange from his desk, peels it off and takes out two pieces of it. After throwing it into his mouth, he chews and looks at Chen Fan Fan. You how did you get up here? Chen Fan Fan looks at Yi Tian's appearance, hands supporting the ground, struggling to climb back a few steps, staring at Yi Tian, panicked. Just on the 20th floor, do you think it's hard to get me? Leaf Day looking at Chen's special pick eyebrow a smile, light way. 20th floor it's just Chen extraordinary difficult swallow saliva, at this moment, already don't know what to say. Are you going to make it clear to yourself? Or are you going to ask me to help you as I did at the drug launch? At this time, Yi Tian threw the peeled orange peel into the garbage can next to him, clapped his hands and told Chen Fifen. Drug release. Chen extraordinary I hear these five words, the facial expression is instantly difficult to see the situation that cannot be compounded. What happened on that day is the biggest nightmare and shadow in his life. The humiliation he has suffered from since his birth is not as much as that day. Now, Yi Tian's old story is mentioned again, and the threat is self-evident. I don't know what you're talking about I don't care how you come in, you'd better leave now, otherwise, 
I'll call the police and accuse you of an illegal invasion. Chen Fifin shakes his head repeatedly, takes out his mobile phone, and looks at Yi Tian menacing. Although he is afraid of Yi Tian, he knows better that once Yi Tian spreads the evidence of his false accounting, he not only has to make up the deficit out of his own pocket, but also has no place in Jinling Pharmaceutical, and even has to bear the disaster of imprisonment. Call the police? Yi Tian looked at Chen Fan Fan with a smile, and said faintly, well, you can report it. Since I can come up, I can leave naturally. But it's you. Do you think that when the police come over and see the account book you made, will you want to see more? You? Chen's special vision one stagnates, excited Ling Ling to hit shiver. He just wanted to scare away the haunted Yi Tian, but he forgot that if the police really came, they would not give up if they saw him doing false accounts. In that case, he would have lifted a stone and hit himself in the foot. I said I. Thinking of this, Chen Fan Fan's eyes twinkle. He pretends to be afraid and seems to confess to Yi Tian. He moves forward. When he comes to the desk, his right hand immediately rises and grabs the notebook on the coffee table. Whoa! But almost as soon as his hand touched the corner of the table, he saw a touch of silver flash across his eyes. Immediately after that, he felt that his right hand sank like a heavy weight. This this. Chen Fan Fan fixed his eyes on it. When he saw that he was holding a heavy corner of the table in his palm, he was scared away. This desk is made of solid wood, and it's the most solid Huanghua pear wood. A hammer can't make a hole. But who can think of, Yi Tian is just a sword, just like cutting bean curd, he cut the corner of the table flat and incomparable. And if such a sword falls on people, what kind of picture should it be? Flesh and blood, there is no firmer truth than Wang Wali. I was going to talk to you calmly, but since you don't want to, I have to help you. You only have three breath time. Yi Tian looks at Chen Fan Fan and smiles indifferently, calming down. Three breath. Chen Fan Fan's heart trembled, wheezing, and taking two deep breaths. Only one breath. Yi Tian looks at Chen Fan Fan's appearance, reaches out his hand to play the flying sword, and smiles. Zhang. When the fingertips fall on the flying sword, the sound of Ching Yue's sword sounds suddenly. Then, the golden and blood red veins in the middle of the flying sword, as if they had come to life, swim gently, sending out a terrible air of choosing people to bite. That feeling, straight let Chen special feel like be watched by poisonous snake, in the heart inexplicable a burst of panic. Say, I say. That kind of direct to the deepest soul of panic, let Chen Fan Fan dare not hide anything. Niza soft, lying in front of Yi Tian, voice trembling, will tell the truth. As Yi Tian guessed, after the last drug launch, Chen Fan Fan lost face in front of everyone. Not only that, after the launch of Shu Edge ointment, because of its remarkable effect, it caused a wave of sales boom, which completely ruined the new drug plan of Jinling Pharmaceutical, and let him, who led the new project, lose face in front of the top management of Jinling Pharmaceutical. In this case, Chen Fan Fan went to Nanhai and found the young man with a flower arm. At a high price, he asked him to help him find a candidate who was willing to disfigure and jump off a building, so as to apply the black snow cream, and asked Yi Tian and Ming Shui for the formula of the cream. However, he didn't expect that the plan that he thought was a sure winner was just around in front of Yi Tian, which was easily solved by Yi Tian, and even the young man with flower arms joined in. Fortunately, he had made an early agreement with Huabang Youth that as long as the guy kept his mouth shut, he would give him a high reward in case of an accident and take him out of prison after the storm subsided. But even so, whether it's the money he used to hire young people or disfigure Lu Fengsan, it's the public money he appropriated from Jinling Pharmaceutical. Now that the plan is revealed, the gap of public funds will not be filled. He can only deceive by making false accounts. But where he wants to get, he is finally caught by Yi Tian. I know I'm wrong. Please forgive me and let me go as a fart. Chen Fan Fan finished everything and cowed out to Yi Tian, hoping that he could raise his hand. If I let you off as a fart, do you think I can let out your stinking dog fart? When Yi Tian hears the sound, he looks at Chen Fan Fan indifferently, laughs, and then raises his hand to poke Chen Fan Fan gently. Poop. A finger falls, Chen special immediately body is soft, fall to the ground, no matter how he struggles, all feel whole body up and down unexpectedly seem to have lost consciousness the same, can't move at all. 
Just lie here and think about what you should do with your life after tomorrow. Yi Tian's condescending light glanced at Chen Fan Fan, then picked up the laptop on the desk and turned to walk out of the window. Chen Fan Fan this kind of person, killed certainly to relieve hatred, but was too cheap he. This kind of person loves face and has never suffered. The best way is to put him in prison and let him go through all the things he doesn't want to experience. This is the real way to relieve Qi Yizheng. When he came to the window, Yi Tian's magic power moved, and then he jumped onto the flying sword, turned into a streamer and flew to the distance. Sword flying immortals he is an immortal. Looking at the figure of Yi Tian's sword flying away, Chen Fifan is dull. If it's not what happened at the moment, it's very real. He almost doubts that what he sees is an illusion. But all this, poor also let him understand, why before Yi Tian enters a room, he knows nothing. After all, if he didn't see this scene at the moment, even if he was killed, he couldn't believe that someone in the world could fly with a sword. In addition to the fear and shock, Chen Fanfan's intestines are all regretful. At this moment, he realized how big a mistake he had made. He thought that Yi Tian was just an ordinary man with some abilities, but now he realized that Yi Tian was not an ordinary man, but also a god who needed him to look up to. He doesn't know whether he is bold or asking for trouble when he is against the immortal. A moment later, Yi Tian returns to Ning's home. This time, he didn't hide anything, but directly pressed the flying sword from mid-air and landed in Ning's yard. Ning Shui and Ning Zhangshan are enjoying the cool in the yard, discussing the next plan. When they see Yi Tian falling from the sky, they sit on the stool and stare at Yi Tian for three minutes before they come back. You you are flying here. Rather snow hard swallow saliva, looking at Yi Tian, dare not set channel. It's not flying. It's the imperial sword. Yi Tian explained casually, and then put Chen Fan Fan's computer and the recording of his statement of the development of things in front of Ning Shui, saying, this is Chen Fan Fan's computer for making false accounts, and the recording of his confession. You can hold a press conference tomorrow, and make these public at the press conference. Royal Sword Ning Shui's head is buzzing. She can't hear what Yi Tian is saying. She knew that Yi Tian was very strong, but she never thought that Yi Tian was so strong that it was incredible. Even the secret skill of flying the Imperial Sword, which can only be mastered by a real immortal, can be used. It's getting late. I'll go back first, and you'll have a rest early. See you tomorrow. At this time, Yi Tian nods to Ning Shui and Ning Zhengshan with a smile. Then he moves his magic power, rises with his sword, and rushes towards the rental house. Looking at Yi Tian's figure, he disappears into the night sky again. Ning Shui and Ning Zhengshan are speechless. Their shock has reached a level beyond words. Master this is the real master. After a long time, Ning Zhengshan looked at Yi Tian's back and sighed. He used to think that the mountain man he met who could walk on the cliff was a real master, but now seeing Yi Tian's level, he understood what was a real master. Master? Ning Shui hears the sound, turns to look at Ning Zhengshan with a bitter smile, and then murmurs, I see, it's just about the same as immortals? However, the words of the moment, there is a sense of loss in her heart. She felt that the distance between herself and Yi Tian suddenly became farther and farther, and it seemed that she could not reach it. Practice. Suddenly, Ning Shui pinches her fingers tightly and murmurs. She decided to cultivate herself, because only in this way, in the future, she may have the qualification to walk side by side with Yi Tian. Finally back. Less than ten minutes later, Yi Tian was in the rental house. Feeling the abundant aura in the yard, Yi Tian only felt comfortable for a while, and even had a feeling of returning home. Squeak squeak. At this time, along the room, suddenly a silver body rushed out of the room. When she saw Yi Tian Ho in the yard, she immediately cried twice excitedly, then jumped up fell on Yi Tian's right shoulder and rubbed her cheek twice. You little guy, you are so clingy. Yi Tian scratched his cheek by Xiao Li Zi and shook his head with a bitter smile. Then he stretched out his finger and tapped on Xiao Li Zi's head, but he didn't drive him down. Instead, he let him squat on his shoulder and walked into the living room. Although it has been a while since he left the rental house, the room is still very clean, whether it is the ground or the tea table. There is not even a trace of dust on it. It can be seen that during his absence, he often comes to clean it up. 
It's good to have a person to take care of life. If you only have yourself, I don't know what it looks like now practice. After Yi Tian nodded, he stretched out his right hand to the stone statue of Fanzi on the ground and said with a smile to Xiao Lizi. Hearing the sound, Xiao Lizi cleverly climbed down Yi Tian's arm, curled up and lay in front of the stone statue of Vatican. However, his ruby shining eyes opened from time to time, aiming at Yi Tian. It seemed that he was afraid that when he closed his eyes and opened them again, he would leave again. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere today. Yi Tian looks at Xiao Li Zi's appearance. He is amused and moved. He reaches out his hand to scratch his head. Then he sits down on his knees and runs Sua Wangwen's idea to absorb the aura of the world around him. Seeing Yi Tian's appearance, Xiao Li Zi put down her heart. Her big fluffy tail covered her head and she fell asleep. She had a little aura in her mind, and she turned and tempered in her dream. A night without words, soon to the next morning. When the sun rises, Yi Tian immediately hears the sound of unlocking the door. Zhiji. When Xiao Lizi heard the news, he immediately got up from the ground and ran to the door in a hurry. Click. At the same time, the door opened and a small figure came in. This little guy is not a cicada, and who can it be? Little chestnut, why are you so happy today? Master is not here. You don't think about him at all. I'm so heartless. I have to give you a good education. When the cicada saw the little chestnut, he rubbed it affectionately, then raised his chest, coughed twice, put on an old scholarly look, bent up two fingers, and prepared to knock two chestnuts on the head of the little chestnut. I haven't seen you for a few days. Our little cicada has learned to put on the airs of the elder Marshall's sister. Yi Tian looks at the cicada's old-fashioned appearance. He can't help laughing and says faintly. Xiao Li Zi, I wonder if my master has come up with something wrong, and I have hallucinated. The cicada hears Yi Tian's voice and is stunned. Then he stares at Xiao Li Zi and says in amazement. Squeak squeak. Hearing this, Xiao Li Zi barked at the cicada twice, then turned to look inside the house, and then nodded to her. Come on in, my first disciple, you're not hallucinating. Yi Tian also smiles. Master, you are back at last. When she heard this, she was sure that Yi Tian had come back. She immediately cheered. Then she opened her arms, pulled out her feet and ran into the room. Then she hugged Yi Tian tightly and arched her head in Yi Tian's arms like a little chestnut. Squeak squeak. Little chestnut also jumped up and down, cheering happily. For a moment, the quiet courtyard became very lively. Have you practiced boxing well recently? Yi Tian rubbed the cicada's head with a smile and looked at her and asked with a smile. I practice every day. I'm diligent. I come to practice boxing at dawn every day. Xiao Lizi can testify for me. When she heard this, she immediately nodded her head and put on a boxing airs in front of Yi Tian. Zhiji. Xiao Lizi also barked a few times at Yi Tian, such as confirming the cicada. A set of punches. Let me see. Yi Tian nodded with a smile and said with a smile to the cicada. When the cicada hears the sound, she immediately jumps into the yard. Her arms are shocked and she uses the boxing method that Yi Tian taught her before. Although the little girl was young and thin, she did a good job with this set of fists. Not only did she not make any mistakes, but there was a faint burst of gas when she made the fist. What's more, she made a kind of bold fist spirit that was indomitable and daring of Hushan, you know, moves are easy to imitate, but boxing is not imitative. The cicada has been practicing boxing for such a long time, but she has developed the meaning of boxing. It can be seen that the little girl's posture is so high. I didn't expect that although this little girl is a timid girl, she has the talent of a pure warrior. She is young, but she has the momentum of a warrior. Yi Tian nodded slightly and was very satisfied with the entry of the cicada. Click click after a set of fists, the cicada couldn't even wipe his sweat. He felt out the melon seeds from his pocket and looked at Yi Tian expectantly, saying, Master, how do I practice? Yes, I've made some progress, but I still can't slack off. If you punch 10,000 times, you'll see what you mean. Yi Tian nodded with a smile and praised the cicada. Sooner or later, I'll beat the invincible one with one blow. 
The cicada, listening to Yi Tian's words, immediately straightens up his waist, raises his head, and says boldly. However, when the little girl said these words, melon seeds kept on, which made the heroic spirit more funny. Well. But at this time, Yi Tian suddenly noticed something he had never noticed before. That is, when she was eating melon seeds, she never spit. A melon seed was thrown into her mouth, chewed and swallowed. Not only that, he also found that the little girl knocked melon seeds so many times in front of her, but she never smelled the taste of melon seeds. Can you share some of your melon seeds? Read here, Yi Tianxin read a move, looking at the cicada stretched out his hand, smilingly way. You can't eat my melon seeds, master. When the cicada heard the sound, he looked a little flustered and shook his head at Yi Tian. Squeak squeak. And Xiao Lizi nodded to Yi Tian. Looking at that, the greedy little guy should have thought about the melon seeds in the cicada's pocket a long time ago. Then he found that it was not something he could eat, so he gave up. The melon seeds eaten by cicadas are really strange. Yi Tian's eyes twinkle when he hears the words, but looking at the cicada's tense appearance, he no longer asks for it from her, but Shi Zhenyuan's eye sweeps at the cicada's bag with melon seeds. This is... A glance swept, Yi Tian immediately feel in front of a golden, let his eyes can't help a stagnation, part is a strong sense of humor. At this moment, he finally understood why Qing Tang, who should not be short of money in the world, was so poor. The reason for this is very simple, because this family is poor because it is eaten by cicadas. This little girl really eats melon seeds, but it's not ordinary melon seeds at all. It's made of more than one piece of pure gold. Outside, it's dyed with light brown syrup, which looks like golden melon seeds sold on the market. According to Etion's rough estimation, the speed and frequency of cicada eating melon seeds should be at least 5 gene of melon seeds a day. 5 gene of golden melon seeds, that is, 2,500 grams of gold, converted into Chinese currency, is 750,000, and 365 days a year is 273.75 million. Even if there is a mine in the family, it can't stand this kind of building. It's also a pity that Zhu Qing is a charming young man. If it's an ordinary family, it won't take a year and only a few days to make a well-off family. In other words, if you sell your house and land, you will have no home to go back to. Where this is still a child, clearly is the head to the letter, genuine gobbler. It's not the charm of the money maker. It's a loser at this moment, Yi Tian can't help sympathizing with Chun Qing. This kind of consumption, if you put it in the square inch spiritual realm, is also okay, but on the earth, even if you have a family with a mine, you can't afford it. It's no wonder that she is so poor that she can't even pay the rent. After all, no matter who it is, with such a black sheep in the stall, life will not be much better. Since I can't eat, I'll forget. Yi Tian looked at the cicada's nervous appearance, and knew that the little guy didn't want to know her mother's secret for the time being, so he chuckled and didn't ask any more questions. When the cicada heard the words, she was slightly relieved but her eyes were full of shame. Obviously, cheating on Master has brought her a heavy psychological burden. Ding ling ling at this time, Yi Tian's mobile phone rings. He picks up the mobile phone and finds that it's Ning Shui's phone. After connecting, Ning Shui tells him that the event of the press conference is ready. He also chooses to hold it at the gate of Nanhai People's Hospital. Okay, I'll be right there. After listening to Ning Shui's words, Yi Tian simply hung up the phone, then looked at the cicada and said, Okay, you go back to have breakfast, I'll go out for a while. Ah! As soon as the cicada hears Yi Tian's words, she looks a little nervous, and Shaoli also stares at Yi Tian. Don't worry, I'll be back at noon, and I'll be back for dinner at the latest. Seeing this, Yi Tian rubbed the cicada's head with a smile and assured the two children. Seeing that they were relieved, he left the rental house and drove to Nanhai People's Hospital. When Yi Tian arrived at the gate of Nanhai People's Hospital, the gate was full of people. Reporters from Nanhai Daily, Youth Daily, Nanhai TV Station, Penguin.com, PIG.com and some influential Big V had gathered together. Yi Tian When Yi Tian came to the backstage of the press conference, Ning Shui, who was making up, immediately waved to him. Today's Ning Shui is dressed in a professional suit, a black suit, the same black pencil skirt with buttocks wrapped, and a white silk scarf wrapped around her neck, which is the standard dress of a strong woman in the workplace. 
black and white contrast, let a person suddenly attracted her eyes to her slender white neck. No silk stockings, too white, curvy legs, so bare, this is the curve of their legs and skin color extremely confident women, have the courage to dress like this. At her feet, there are a pair of black high-heeled shoes, no pompous rhinestones and bandages, but she has a unique style when she wears her slim, white and greasy feet without any defects. Beautiful and confident, this is the first impression of Yi Tian when he saw Ning Shui. He has no doubt that the appearance of Ning Shui can add a lot of favor just by the present dress. Is my dress okay? Ning Shui see Yi Tian staring at himself, look immediately some flustered, in front of the fitting mirror, nervous way. No, it's beautiful. Yi Tian shook his head with a smile and said sincerely. Ning Shui smell speech, pretty face slightly a hot, but in the heart, it is inexplicable more proud, slightly straighten the chest, let already his S shape curve, appear more curve exquisite. Even Yi Tian, looking at this scene, his throat can't help being dry and itchy. I went to the press conference. When the press conference is over, I have something to tell you. Rather snow looking at the appearance of Leaf Day, light smile A, then big square of walk to Leaf Day front, way. Have something to say to yourself? Yi Tian's eyes change slightly, and his head is slightly big for a while. He is worried about the questions Ning Shui will ask. Soon, Ning Shui went to the platform of the press conference. Yi Tian sees this and follows Ning Shui, but he doesn't go on stage. Instead, he stands at the bottom and looks at Ning Shui quietly. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to have you here so early in the morning on such a beautiful morning. Therefore, I will make a long story short. The reason why I hold this press conference is to apologize. Sorry? When Ning Shui's words fall, all the reporters and we media's big Vs under the stage are in a mess. Even if his leaf day, all some confused toward rather snow so and I, don't understand why she wants to apologize. But when you see the smile on Ning Shui's mouth, Yi Tian's mood immediately becomes calm. He believes that the reason why Ning Shui is doing this now must be her consideration. After yesterday's things, this girl has become mature and can be independent. Miss Ning, as far as we know, the police have found out the fact yesterday that someone was deliberately applying black snow cream in the disfigurement incident. Now you say you want to apologize. It's snow cream that really exists. Is there any problem we don't know? Yes, please explain to us. What do you mean by your apology? Who do you want to apologize to, the user of Shueji Cream? Or have you decided to shut down the production line of Shueji Cream? After a brief uproar, the reporters on the stage, one by one, are scrambling to ask Ning Shue Fa. Ning Shue looks at the atmosphere that this moment is transferred under the stage, tiny nod, corner of mouth smile emerge. All this is exactly what she wants to achieve. Only in this way can we attract more people's attention and speed up the dissemination. The object of my apology today is not the user of Shueji Cream, because I have enough confidence in our products, and I have a clear conscience. A little later, Ning Shui Yang raised her slender hands. When the field was quiet, her voice was firm and said, I want to apologize to those scar patients who are troubled by scars but can't find a better way to remove them. I'm sorry, because our products are so excellent that some competitors make dirty moves, which leads you to doubt Shueji Cream. Beautiful. Yi Tian hears Ning Shui's words, the corner of his mouth can't help but stir up a touch of radian. Ning Shui is really apologizing, but more importantly, she is apologizing to express the excellence of Shui Ji Gao. Competitors? Miss Ning, who do you mean by your competitors? Miss Ning, is the disfigurement incident yesterday not just about someone trying to blackmail Ning's pharmaceutical industry, but about something deeper? If you have any evidence to prove yourself, can you show it to us? It has to be said that Ning Shui's astonishing words were too clever. In an instant, all the reporters on the scene lost their calm and kept asking questions. You know, compared with simple extortion, the strife within the industry is more gimmicky and attractive. Every production process of shoe edge ointment is strictly monitored. Our quality control is absolutely first class, and the safety has been tested for many times, which will not affect any patients with physical constitution. Ning Shui raised her hand again in motion to the audience to be quiet. First, she picked up a few photos of the Shueji Cream Production Workshop and showed them to the audience. 
By using the means of desire to raise and restrain, she linked up the curiosity of these reporters and then said, we are not villains. We don't blame anyone for no reason. Therefore, we have evidence in our hands, and we have a complete set of rules the whole recording in material evidence. There's a recording. And physical evidence. All the reporters were like being beaten with goose blood in an instant. They were so excited that they were about to get goosebumps. But what is related to recording is a big event that can ignite the eyeball. For example, in the Watergate incident in the United States, it was because of simple telephone recording that the president of a country was ruined. Is it true that this time, they will witness that a pharmaceutical company is ruined because of recording? Everybody, this is the recording. Please listen to it I will announce this recording to the public later, and I am willing to accept the testing of any department or individual to ensure the authenticity of this recording. This time, without waiting for the reporters to speak, Ning Shui took out the recording from Yi Tian's mobile phone yesterday, connected to the computer on the platform, and pressed the play button. Immediately, Chen Fanfan's deep and hoarse voice sounded from the computer, say, I say, the reason behind the snow cream disfigurement incident is me. The effect of Shueji cream is so excellent that our new product has lost its way completely. Years of research has turned into a bubble. I'm not willing to accept it, so I thought of this method, using disfigurement and jumping off buildings to enrage the public. So, I let Chen Chang find a family with lymphatic cancer, and two guys who are in debt for gambling. Chen Extraordinary's words, the truth of the disfigurement incident, completely exposed in front of all the people in the field. Because their products are inferior to others, they use this despicable means to discredit their opponents. This person's heart is black, right? Animals, no, even animals can't do such crazy things. How can I sound so familiar with the sound of rubbish? Yes, it sounds like Chen Fanfan of Jinling Pharmaceutical. I interviewed him before. Miss Ning, is this man Chen Fanfan, the general manager of Jinling Pharmaceutical? The reporters under the stage have been completely angered by the voice in the recording, and everyone is filled with indignation, especially some sharp-eared journalists in the industry, who are keen to judge the identity of the speaker from the voice. I don't want to say this dirty name, but I believe that after you look at the things in this computer, you will know who this person is. Ning Shui Lide then opened Chen Extraordinary Computer, he made half of the false account, show in front of everyone. Jin Ling Pharmaceutical it's Chen Fanfan Fan who did it. All the money comes from Jinling Pharmaceutical. Crazy. Is this guy's heart made of ink? It's so vicious it's filthy. His own medicine is inferior to that of others. Instead of thinking about improvement, he discredits his opponents and even makes three people disfigured. One person almost jumps out of a building and dies. How can there be such a crazy animal in the world? When I saw the signing of Jinling Pharmaceutical on the false accounting form, the truth became clear. All the reporters immediately confirmed that Chen Fanfan of Jinling Pharmaceutical was the one who led all this behind the scenes, and immediately denounced each one with righteous indignation. They said, how could a little gangster like Guy come up with such a rigorous method? Now, it turns out that there is Chen Fifan behind the guidance of this expert. Miss Ning, how did you get this recording and notebook evidence? Right ah, uh, this kind of thing, Chen Special should not take out casually give you? After that, some reporters questioned Chen Luoshan. Whether it's Chen Fanfan's confession or notebook evidence, this kind of thing is not so easy to get, which makes people suspect that Ning Shui used some unknown means to get these. The origin of the recording and notebook is very simple. It was thrown into my yard late last night. I think it should be that someone despised the animal's behavior, so we should do harm to the people. Ning Shui laughs and says the excuses and reasons that she has already thought of. She pushes everything onto a good man who has nothing to do. In this way, even if those reporters go to investigate, they can't find anything. What's more, her words are not a lie. Yi Tian really fell from the sky last night, and then put the recording and evidence in the yard. Like all of you, I also hope that the mysterious hero will come forward. In this case, I will thank him very much. Because it's him, let the truth out, for Snow Cream clear the injustice, also let us Ning Jia avoid a disaster. Here, I want to say thank you to him closely following, 
rather snow in order to let reporters confirm her words, looking at the stage, sincere way. Just, the remaining light of her campus, has been paying attention to Etian. Sure enough, Ning Shui's sincere words immediately made those reporters have no doubt. They all felt that perhaps, as Ning Shui said, there was a mysterious good man who helped the Ning family. After all, if Ning Shui really has so much energy, how can Chen Fifan's previous treacherous plan succeed? How are you going to thank that mysterious good man? Do you agree with each other by example, as the ancient saying goes? Soon, some reporters asked Ning Shui jokingly. If that gentleman is the type I like, I don't mind the way I choose to meet him by example. A kind person, I think it's worth trusting. Ning Shui looks at Yi Tian's position, smiles and says. Hearing this, Yi Tian couldn't help laughing bitterly and shaking his head. The most difficult thing to bear is beauty. In this case, we must write this sentence. Perhaps, the mysterious good man, after seeing what Miss Ning said, will stand up and show you his identity. I think that mysterious good man would regret that he didn't show up last night if he saw your picture of Miss Ning. And those reporters who know nothing about the truth are laughing and joking about Ning Shui. Miss Ning, now that the truth has come out, I don't know how you plan to deal with it. Are you going to launch a counter-attack against Jinling Pharmaceutical? Will you choose to retaliate on a large scale like what Chen Fanfan is doing now? Following closely, there are many reporters, looking at Ning Shui's inquisitive inquiry. I am not a police officer, and I have no obligation to judge the punishment for such acts. As for retaliation, I am not interested in those despicable means, but I believe that you uncrowned kings will get me a reasonable justice. Rather snow toward a crowd of reporters to see an eye, not light not heavy of compliment them, after a way. Don't worry, Miss Ning. We will help you to get justice back. Yes, just relax. We won't let the real good products suffer from reckless disasters. We must let the bad people pay the price they deserve. We're going to make the bad guys pay what they deserve. A group of reporters heard Ning Shui's words, one by one immediately burst of sense of justice, patted the chest and issued a guarantee. Ning Shui smiles at these reporters. She understands that the crisis has been completely over since this moment. And next, it will be a new prelude to the vigorous development of Shuaji ointment after the new fire. Soon after the press conference ended, a group of reporters left, and the police came to take the recording and notebook, and asked Ning Shui about the origin of the recording and notebook. Ning Shui naturally still said it was given by a mysterious good man, and did not know the identity of the other party. The police saw that they did not cross-examine what was found, so they did not continue to ask and then began to investigate the whereabouts of Chen Fanfan. After all, regardless of the origin of the evidence, it's true. It's a matter of fact that Chen is the real murderer behind the scenes. Yi Tian, if I say that, it won't bring you any trouble, will it? Ning Shui sent the police to leave, nervously looking at Yi Tian, inquired. Do you think the police will believe Chen Fanfan that I flew into his room to get these things? Yi Tian smell speech, pick eyebrow to see rather snow a smile, tease away. Rather snow a zhang, immediately dumbfounded. Who can believe that a living man can fly with his sword if he doesn't see it with his own eyes? Even if Chen Special told this matter to the police, the police will only think that he is desperate, deliberately nonsense to others splashed dirty water. You just said you would tell me something. I don't know what it is. Immediately after, Yi Tian looks at Ning Shui and asks. I, I want to learn from you beyond Yi Tian's expectation. Ning Shui didn't ask the questions he thought, but hesitated for a while, and her eyes were firm. Do you want to practice, too? Yi Tian looked at Ning Shui at a loss, some surprised. He thought that Ning Shui's interest was only in business, but unexpectedly, she was also interested in cultivation. Well. I want to practice Ning Shui nodded hard, clenched her fist, and her attitude was firm and incomparable. I can teach you. Yi Tian is a little silent and looks at Ning Shui. Then he doubts, but I can ask, why do you want to practice all of a sudden? Because. Ning Shui stares at Yi Tian's eyes and says slowly, I hope I can be closer to you and closer. Closer a little closer Ning Shui's eyes are blazing and full of hope. This is the most real idea in her heart. Her cultivation is not for how strong she is, 
nor for how long she can live, or how to be respected, but for being closer to the people she likes. Yi Tian's sword flew to Ning's home last night, which shocked her so much that she was worried. If it goes on like this, maybe one day, she and Yi Tian will be far away. She didn't want that day. Cultivation is not a simple thing. I can promise you. Yi Tian was a little flustered by Ning Shui's eyes. He coughed softly. After calming down, he said slowly. Then he taught Ning Shui the Qingming formula and explained some confusion to her. These two pills are for you. This one can be taken before you begin to practice. It can cut bones and wash marrow to make your constitution more suitable for practice. This one can be taken when you feel that the aura of heaven and earth absorbed during practice is extremely scarce. Immediately after, Yi Tian handed Ning Shui a Huang Ling Dan and a Di Ling Dan, but she didn't explain the use. Good. After Ning Shui took the pill, she nodded in her eyes. She knows that cultivation is not a simple thing, but she is willing to work hard for Yi Tian. It's settled. I'll go back to school first. I haven't been back for a long time. If there's anything else, or if there's any problem in my cultivation, you can call me at any time. Yi Tian cleared his throat, and after laughing at Ning Shui, he turned and left. Sooner or later, I will catch up with you, even if I can only stand beside you. Ning Shui looks at Yi Tian's back, holding the porcelain bottle tightly, murmuring in her heart. A moment later. Yi Tian came to Nanhai University. With the breeze, walking on the cobblestone paved road in the campus, looking at the quiet lake nearby, some students not far away who are reading books, or some lovers chatting, and the noise from the distant playground, Yi Tian's heart can't help but calm down. In fact, for Yi Tian, he still likes this kind of campus life. Quiet, not so much trouble, is a rare piece of pure land in the world. Leaf After walking a few steps by the lake, Yi Tian Gang saw a long line of students coming out of class in the distance, followed by a group of people running over happily, waving their hands to Yi Tian from a long distance. All over the world, Yi Tian will be called that. Besides Shi Xiong, who else can there be? I'll go. You're a good boy. You've been away for so many days. Many students in the class come to me to ask if you're going to drop out of school. After two people meet, Stone mail toward Leaf Day's chest lightly smashed a fist, smile way. It's coming back. Yi Tian narrowed his eyes and gave a light smile, and then said, How's auntie? Has anything happened during my absence from school? My mother's health is completely good. She called two days ago and told me to remind you that after a period of vacation, you must come to our house and let you taste the real mountain flavor. Shi Xiong laughs twice and thanks Yi Tian. Then he says, as for the school, nothing has happened recently. Those teachers call you by name. You don't come to class, and no one says a word. And I see their appearance. Seeing you skip class, not only don't get angry, but also seem to be relieved. It's really good for you. Don't worry, I will go. Yi Tian nodded with a smile. Let's go and have dinner. I've just given you a scholarship for this academic year. I'll treat you to canteen. Sure Shion smiles, then drags Yi Tian and runs to the school canteen. Before long, the two of them had two set meals, and then found a vacant seat to sit down. I'll tell you. Just ate a few mouthfuls, along the side, suddenly came a clamor, Yi Tian followed the sound, then see his Nyoshu with a group of people, Noisy ran over. As soon as Nyosu sees Yi Tian, he looks sluggish. He says something and closes up quickly. Last time he found a killer to deal with Yi Tian, but the evil thing is that the two killers couldn't get in touch anymore. On the contrary, Yi Tian was still alive, and the police went to him once because of the car, which scared him to death. Fortunately, because of his identity as a student, as well as the identity of Nyo's son, he was able to fool the past. But even so, it makes him realize that Yi Tian is not so easy to deal with. Even, he has some doubts, the two killers who have no news are killed by Yi Tian. What are you looking at? At this time, a companion of Nyo Su finds that Yi Tian is looking at Nyo Su. He immediately has a neck and says in a loud voice. Nyo Su, what do you say I'm looking at? Yi Tian smell speech, put down chopsticks, toward Nyo Su saw an eye, light way. 
Come on, let's go and eat somewhere else. Nyosu hears Yi Tian's words, his body trembles. He grabs his companions and whispers, ready to turn and leave. So many students are eating quietly. You come here to make trouble and leave now. Have you forgotten something? Yi Tian sees this, looking at Nyosu's back, light way. This kid. Nyosu immediately clenched his fist when he heard the news, but he thought of the two killers who didn't know their life and death. His clenched fist loosened again, turned his head, bowed to Yi Tian's position, and said, I'm sorry to disturb you. I apologize. A word falls, on the face of a lot of schoolmates around immediately show the color of amazement. You know, Nyosu was very famous in Nanhai University because of his good family background, and the most famous one is his arrogance. But now, Nyosu, who was very arrogant in the past, even bowed his head to apologize because of Yi Tian's words. This is really incredible. Not long ago, Nyosu often humiliated Yi Tian in front of many people. Nyosu's companions are also stunned. They can't believe it. They look at Nyosu. They don't believe that he should swallow his anger to Yi Tian and say that he can roll. Go away. Yi Tian said faintly. Nyosu hears the sound, this just takes those several companions, hurry to the dining room outside. Brother Su, what happened just now? That boy is so arrogant, how can you bear it? Yes, Brother Su, if you want me to say, it's just time for us to deal with that boy together. At the same time, after leaving the canteen, Nyosu's companions were not angry, you said a word, I said a word. You don't understand. Nyosu shook his head, but immediately, his eyes showed a touch of ruthlessness, and said, but I won't be so willing to give up. Sooner or later, one day, I will step on that boy under my feet as before, and I won't give him any chance to turn over. This guy, it seems that he is really afraid of being beaten by you. Meanwhile, in the dining room, Shershon looks at Nyosu's back and gives a thumbs up to Etian. After a while, if you look at this guy, it will feel like looking at a little ant. Yitian chuckles and says. Nyosu's eyes immediately showed a strong color of hope. Big news, big news, Yenhua University has formed an exchange group, and it's coming to our school soon. And just then, along the dining hall, suddenly came a hubbub. I'll go. It's true or false. Yenhua University is the best university in China. How can they come to Nanhai University to communicate with each other? You're kidding. Yenhua University is such a good school. What communication do you have with us? As soon as it fell, there was a lot of noise in the dining hall. How does Yenhua University exchange with Nanhai University? Yi Tian's eyes can't help changing when he hears the sound, and some of them are confused. You know, just as those students in the canteen said, Yenhua University is the top university in China, while Nanhai University can only be regarded as one of the top universities. Now, Yenhua University sends students to Nanhai University to exchange ideas. What's the difference between this and a group of rich people who suddenly go to poor people's homes to visit and study? Go and have a look. Yenhua University, that's the school I wanted to enter most in high school Shishun finished his meal, then looked at Yi Tian Dao expectantly. Although Yi Tian is not interested in school communication, he looks at Shishun's eager face and shakes his head with a bitter smile. After dinner, he and he rushed to the school gate. When they came to the school gate, they saw that many students had gathered around them. Not only the students, but also the headmaster Wang Hai and some teachers met at the school gate. At the same time, a bus slowly stopped at the school gate. Then, the bus door opened, and a group of young men and women, who were supposed to be exchange students of Yenhua University, came out. Xiao where? When Yi Tian saw these young men and women, his eyes were dazed. This girl named Xiao Yue is his high school classmate, and also belongs to the kind of very good relationship. However, Xiao Yue was lively and generous when she was a senior one and a sophomore in high school. No matter what she did, she was careless. But when she was a senior three, she suddenly seemed to be a different person, quiet and always alone. Her relationship with them gradually faded. After graduating from high school, Xiao Yue once went to him alone for dinner. After having a drink with him, she said, I'm sorry for alienating you this year, but you are one of my few good friends. I cherish so, 
think you never knew me. At that time, Yi Tian couldn't understand what Xiaoyuer said. He didn't understand why she said such an endless sentence, but he felt that Xiaoyuer's tone was helpless and bitter. Moreover, as soon as he wanted to ask a few questions, Xiaoyuer left. That appearance even let Yi Tian some doubt, Xiaoyuer came to the party, is to say such a word with him. Since then, Xiaoyuer has no news. Some people say that she was admitted to Yenhua University. At the last high school reunion, Yi Tian also thought about whether he would see her, and also wanted to ask her classmates about her recent situation. Unfortunately, Li Feiyang interrupted the situation and failed to inquire about Xiaoyuer's recent situation with his classmates. He really did not expect that he would meet Xiaoyuer again among the exchange students from Yenhua University. At this time, Wang Hai saw someone get out of the car and immediately stepped up. Headmaster Wang, long time no see. Wang Hai just walked over and came down from the bus. A middle-aged man met Wang Hai, shook hands, and said with a smile. President Qi, I didn't expect that you were the leader of the exchange group. Wang Hai shook hands with the middle-aged man and said in surprise. His name is Qi Chunsheng. He is the vice president of Yenhua University. He ranks first. He is very old and has a high position. Under normal circumstances, he would not be in charge of student exchange at all. But this time, Qi Chunsheng, who was extremely unusual, brought his team to Nanhai University himself. How could Wang Haishan not be surprised by the high standard? Ha ha ha, the South China Sea has a beautiful scenery. Of course, I can't miss it. Qi Chunsheng hit a ha ha, hands to the students behind him Yang Yang, said, the next period of time, I and these students, will disturb President Wang for a period of time. It's easy to say, it's easy to say, the hotel has been arranged. During this time, I've wronged my classmates to make do with it in the school hotel. Although Wang Hai was full of doubts, he still nodded with a smile and made a gesture of asking. Well, thank you, Principal Wang. Shi Chunqing nodded with a smile. Then he turned to look at the students behind him and said, everyone has worked hard all the way. Go to the hotel with President Wang to have a rest. Soon, after thanking Wang Haidao, a group of students followed him into the school gate and walked to the hotel in the school. Moon. When Xiao Yuer comes near, Yi Tian looks at Xiao Yuer and shouts with a smile. After two years' absence, Xiao Yuer is more beautiful than she was in high school. She seems to have grown taller. She has a tall figure, long hair, and shawl. Even though she is only wearing a simple white t-shirt and jeans, she still outlines her youthful figure. However, her quiet temperament became more intense. When she walked, she also opened a short distance from other people and seemed unwilling to have too much contact with anyone. Hearing Yi Tian's call, Xiao Yuera can't help turning her head and looking in the direction of Yi Tian's voice. Seeing this, Yi Tian waved to her with a smile. But to Yi Tian's surprise, Xiao Yuera sees him and looks obviously flustered. In a moment, she turns her head and speeds up her pace. It seems that she doesn't want to have too much contact with Yi Tian. Well. Yi Tian saw this and frowned, but then, his look suddenly changed slightly. Just now, he felt a faint breath of cultivation from Xiao Yuer's flustered look. That breath, very light, but very real. Is Xiao Yuer from the mountain? This discovery, let Leaf Day can't help a Zhang, the heart is full of amazement. Is that why Xiao Yuer has changed so much? It's not a bad thing to be called a mountain person. Even if Xiao Yuer's identity and temperament have changed, she should become arrogant and look down on her classmates who are just ordinary people. She should not become quiet or even alienate her former friends is there any secret in Xiao Yuer? Yi Tian frowned slightly, and his heart was full of doubts. Seeing that Xiao Yuer was going far away, he hurried to Wang Hai and said, Headmaster Wang. At the same time, he winked at Wang Hai. Yi Tian, come here and greet the students of Yenhua University with me. Master help, Wang Haiwar cannot help, hastily smiled genial Chong Yi Tian waved. Take me with you. Sure Xiong hears the sound and looks at Yi Tian Dao eagerly. Yi Tian nodded and walked quickly with Sure Xiong. President Qi, let me introduce you. This is Yi Tian, the most outstanding student of Nanhai University. During your stay in the university, he will be your guide. 
if you have any requirements, you can tell him that I will help him solve them. Wang Hai waited until Yi Tian came near, took Yi Tian's arm and enthusiastically introduced him to Qi Chunsheng. Hello, Yi Tian. Qi Chunsheng looks at Wang Hai in amazement, then smiles and nods to Yi Tian. Not only him, but also the other students of Yenhua University, all looked at Yi Tian with surprise, and then there was more provocation and fun in their eyes. They are very curious about what's so special about this guy named Yi Tian that Wang Hai, the head of the school, can praise him as the best student in front of their group of students from the top universities. If you are so excellent, how can you go to Nanhai University instead of Yenhua University? Not to mention these people, even Shu Xiong next to him looked a little strange after hearing the words. How come even his native student of Nanhai University, Yi Tian's good friend, doesn't know that Yi Tian, who has been skipping classes for a long time, is actually the best student of Nanhai University? But they didn't know that Wang Hai was flattering his master in order to please him. Yi Tian, I don't know what your major is. Since you are so excellent, we have to consult you in the future. At this time, a boy with gold glasses, who exudes a sense of pride, looks at Yi Tian, provocative, way. Chinese Department Yi Tian's attention is not on these students at all. After a faint reply, his eyes continue to stay on Xiao Yuer's back. He felt that Xiao Yuer's body not only had the fluctuation of cultivation breath, but also had a very heavy evil spirit, like a fierce sword. However, this evil spirit was suppressed by Xiao Yuer. However, to deal with this evil spirit in this way is like blocking water. The harder it is suppressed, the longer it lasts, and the more terrifying it will be when it breaks out in the future. What is the evil spirit in Xiao Yuer's body? Yi Tian frowns tightly and says a confession in his heart. Then he opens Yuan Tian's eyes and shines through Xiao Yuer's body. The evil spirit in Xiao Yuer's body is extremely terrible. If she can't get treatment, she will continue to suppress it. Under the influence of this evil spirit, Xiao Yuer will either become a murderous female devil or a walking corpse who only knows how to kill. In the last life, Yi Tian didn't know what Xiao Yuer had become. But in this life, since he saw Xiao Yuer again, he would never let Xiao Yuer go back to the old way. The graceful and white posture of Xiao Yuer immediately appears in front of Yi Tian's eyes. The swaying steps make the slender waist and plump hips ripple. Yi Tian can't help but have an impulse to spit out nosebleed for a moment. There's nothing different in Xiao Yuer's body. She's full of vitality, which is the normal situation of the people on the mountain. The only explanation is that there is something wrong with her practice, or she has come into contact with something very evil, which has affected her mind. Soon, Yi Tian settled down. After some exploration, he closed Yuan Tian's eyes and thought in his heart. Yi Tian, what do you mean? Why are you staring at Yuer all the time? Are you students of Nanhai University so incompetent that it's impolite to stare at a girl's back all the time? And at this time, Si Yi Tian's eyes staring at Xiao Yuer, the proud boy who asked him before, displeased Cold Chide Wei. Everyone has a love for beauty, and Yi Tian's eyes must look forward when he walks forward. You can't force him to keep his eyes on the back of his head. Hearing this, Wang Hai immediately gave a haha to help his master. Does this headmaster Wang owe Yi Tian Qian? Not only in front of so many people, but also in praise of him as the best student? Even if he peeks at the girl's back, regardless of the identity of the headmaster, he helps Yi Tian to make ends meet? Su Hao, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Just do yourself well. Don't force everyone to be as polite as you are. Qi Chunsheng also looks at Wang Hai in bewilderment. He is not sure what to eat and whispers to the boy. However, in his words, he also shows that he is dissatisfied with Yi Tian's behavior. Yuer and I are classmates in high school, and we are very good friends. Yi Tianping was quiet, then looked at Xia Yuer's back and said, Yuer, do you mind if I do this? Yuer, is that so? How do I think this guy is lying? Yuer, you can't have such a friend. Hearing the sound, Su Hao immediately looked at Xia Yuer and said in a loud voice, Xiao Yuer is recognized as a goddess in Yenhua University. She is not only beautiful, but also excellent in her studies. The only bad thing is that she has a very cold personality and a sense of alienation when dealing with people. 
Moreover, this sense of alienation is not only for boys, even girls living in the same dormitory. Even in the first two years of school, not only did no one catch up with Xiao Yue'er, but even the girls failed to make friends with her. It's not that she's not easy to get along with, but that she's too quiet. She only wants to live in her own world and doesn't want to have too much contact with the outside world. Under such circumstances, even though Su Hao knew that Xiao Yue'er was indeed from the South China Sea, he did not believe that Yi Tian would be Xiao Yue'er's friend and a close friend. Yi Tian is indeed my high school classmate and my good friend. Xiao Yue'er is kind after all. She can't bear that Yi Tian is trapped. She stops and walks slowly. Su Hao heard the sound of a Zhang, can't believe to Yi Tian Wang. Xiao Yue'er admits that Yi Tian is her good friend. He can't believe it if he doesn't hear about it. Not only him, but also other exchange students of Yenhua University are looking at Yi Tian with shocked faces. They don't understand how this guy can do what countless students in the whole top institution of Yenhua University have failed to do for two years. Not to mention these people, Shi Xiong, who follows Yi Tian, is full of tremors. When he saw Xiao Yue'er just now, he was still thinking, I don't know if he could get to know this beautiful woman by helping to be a guide. But who would have thought, at the end of the day, it seems that there is no leaf. This boy does not know the beauty. In the blink of an eye, some of his favorite girls are his good friends. Long time no see. I thought you wouldn't like to admit that we are friends. Yi Tianjin ignored these people's surprised eyes, quickened his pace, walked to Xiao Yue'er's side and said with a smile. Yi Tian, I remember telling you that I didn't know me give up your role as a guide and stay away from me. Xiao Yue'er sighs gently, turns her head, looks at Yi Tian with complicated eyes, and says slowly. Why? Yi Tian Ping looks at Xiao Yue'er quietly, and her smile is still calm. Believe me, I won't hurt you. It's all for your own good. Xiao Yue'er stares at Yi Tian's eyes. She wants to talk but stops. At last, she says something leisurely. Then she turns her head and doesn't have any more words with Yi Tian. Because of those strange things about you? Yi Tian looks at Xiao Yue'er's figure, calm light way. Hearing this, Xiao Yue'er stagnates and looks back at Yi Tian. She looks unnatural, confused and even frightened. I just heard that Yue'er asked you to stay away from her. Can't you understand her? At this time, Su Hao, who is closely behind them, comes over quickly, looks at Yi Tian provocatively and says in a deep voice. Xiao Yue'er takes a deep look at Yi Tian. Her lips move back and forth. Finally, she turns her head. As she doesn't see the dialogue between Yi Tian and Su Hao, she continues to walk forward indifferently, as if she really doesn't want to have any intersection with Yi Tian. I'll wait for you by the lake at seven tonight. Yi Tian ignores Su Hao and looks at Xiao Yue'er's back. With a deep voice, he winks at Shi Xiong and turns to leave. Headmaster Wang, is this the guide you found for us? Seeing this, Chi Chuncheng looked at Wang Hai with a strange look. His tone was playful and he laughed. Nanhai University pays more attention to the cultivation of students' personality. Yi Tian is excellent, so his personality is also very special. Wang Hai does not blush at all and continues to flatter Yi Tian. Chi Chuncheng looks at Wang Hai speechless. For a moment, he doesn't know what to say. He has been a teacher for half of his life. He has never seen a student who can be protected by the teacher. President Chi, since you are the leader of the exchange group, I think it must be more than just a simple exchange with Nanhai University? Is there another reason? At this time, Wang Hai digs away from the topic and asks Chi Chuncheng with a smile. Since Headmaster Wang is so straight to the point, I don't want to hide anything. Hearing this, Chi Chunxing chuckled and said, in the near future, there will be the strongest brain competition among college students in the world in the United States. The students I brought with me this time are all the best in brain competition of Yenhua University. I brought them here not only for communication, but also for competition with excellent students from all departments of your university, so as to enter the competition ahead of time and strive for good results when representing Huaxia. Although Chi Chunxing's words are very implicit, the implication is obvious. It seems that he has already confirmed that the students he brings will be qualified to represent China. 
As for the students of Nanhai University, they can only be used as grindstones. When Su Hao and other students of Yenhua University heard Qi Chuanxing's words, they also raised their heads one by one, with a strong look of pride on their faces. They looked forward to themselves, as if the students of Nanhai University passing by were just a bunch of grass besides them. After that, Qi Chuncheng looked at Wang Hai with a smile and said, I remember President Wang Yu just said that Yi Tian is the best student in Nanhai University. I think it's better to let him compete with my students tomorrow to see how excellent he is. Competition When Wang Hai heard Qi Chuanxing's words, he couldn't help blinking. At this moment, he finally understood the reason why Yenhua University sent students to Nanhai University to exchange. It turned out that these people intended to use Nanhai University as a grindstone, or more accurately, as a soft persimmon. This kind of feeling makes him very uncomfortable. Moreover, what worries him is that Qi Chunqing proposes to compete with Yi Tian, which worries him that Yi Tian will not be able to compete with the students of Yenhua University. After all, those who can be admitted to Yenhua University are basically a group of people with the best learning ability in Huaxia. Yi Tian's force value is indeed very high, but what he wants to compare is, after all, brain competition, which may not be able to be like these people. What? Headmaster Wang, don't you have any confidence in Yi Tian? At this time, Su Hao looked at Wang Hai, his eyes full of provocation. Not only he, but also several other students of Yenhua University are looking at Wang Hai playfully. Haha, <laughs> Nanhai University respects the individual will of students. Even if I am the president, I can't make decisions for my classmates. Whether you want to participate in the competition depends on Yi Tian's own wishes however, there are many other excellent students in Nanhai University. I think they are also very interested in this most powerful brain challenge. How can Wang Hai not know that these people are using provocation, but he also knows that he is not only Yi Tian's apprentice, but also the president of Nanhai University. If he is timid at the moment, he will let others look down at Nanhai University. After a little meditation, he will give an ambiguous sentence, which shows that he is not afraid of challenges and leaves a stage for Yi Tian not to compete. In this case, I will have a good chat with Yi Tian when I have a chance. Su Hao's eyes changed and he said with a smile to Wang Hai. Wang Hai had a good fight and said nothing more. Soon, a group of students from Yenhua University arrived at the hotel. After arranging their rooms, Wang Hai left the hotel with a smile. As soon as he walked out of the hotel door, his face became dignified. This contest concerns the face of Nanhai University. Once all the students lose, Nanhai University will lose its reputation and leave a bad impression on the students of Nanhai University, which will directly affect the enrollment next year. However, since Yenhua University has sent these students, it shows that they should be well prepared. Under such circumstances, it is too difficult to win over these people. Even if you lose, you can't lose too ugly. After biting his teeth, Wang Hai first called the Dean of Academic Affairs and asked him to select excellent students for the competition. Then he found out Yi Tian's number, dialed it and told him what Yenhua University was about. The strongest brain? After listening to Wang Hai's words, Yi Tian's eyes slightly changed and he was a little dumb. Although he had guessed before that Yenhua University must be a bad comer, he did not expect that the other party came with this idea. Master, if it's not convenient for you to participate in the competition, I'll help you find a way to get rid of the past. At this time, Wang Hai was opposite to Yi Tian Dao. Excuse me? No, I'm in the game. The Leaf Day hears a voice, lightly smile to shake head, light way. Cultivation, in fact, is not only the cultivation of physique, but also the development of brain. Otherwise, Yi Tian can't get the ability to never forget, let alone have a strong mind. Yenhua University wants to find him for brain competition, to see who is the strongest brain, that is really the wrong person. Are you sure? Wang Hai didn't expect that Yi Tian would promise so simply. He was stunned. Before calling Yi Tian, he and the Dean of Academic Affairs should review Yi Tian's performance in the previous academic year. The academic director's transcript from the system showed him that Yi Tian was really an ordinary student in his study. To be exact, he was wandering at the end of the crane in every exam. 
such achievements, to participate in this kind of brain competition, really cannot help worrying. Of course. Believe me, I won't let Nanhai University lose face Yi Tian chuckled and gave a positive answer again. Good. At 8 o'clock that evening, Master, please come to my office. I'll ask you to meet with some other students participating in the competition and discuss the countermeasures for the competition. When Wan Hai heard Yi Tian's resolute attitude, he nodded and made a concise statement. After Yi Tian gave a reply, he hung up and added Yi Tian's name to the competition list. But after thinking about it, he added a student whose grades were always at the top after Yi Tian's name, which made him feel more secure. But as a result, an eight-member team was formed, one more than the seven-member team sent by Yenhua University. Yenhua University is pretentious and should not care about more people, Wang Hai looked at the list and nodded slightly. Then he began to contact several other students to make an appointment for a meeting at 8 p.m. There is no impermeable wall in the world. Soon, the news that Yenhua University came to Nanhai University for exchange spread all over the campus. The world is shocked. Apart from these four words, there are no other words that can better describe the thoughts of these students in Nanhai University. Yenhua University is the dream place in the hearts of countless Chinese students. Every year, countless people want to be a part of it. Such a school suddenly wants to compete with such a quasi-first-class university as Nanhai University, and it is also a mental competition. How can people not worry about the result of this competition? In the Nanhai University competition group, there is a student with the lowest score. What's the point? Yi Tian, who is qualified to participate in this competition? Is it because we're afraid that we won't lose enough? The Crane Tails result, unexpectedly also wants to participate in the Brain Athletics competition, if he is clever, the result will be so bad? Let him take part in the competition. Are they going to give up the competition? When the name list of the competition team of Nanhai University was published, and some students picked up the past results of the competition team members in detail, Yi Tian's miserable report card immediately caused an uproar on campus. Many students think that they have hallucination, can't believe the headmaster will make such a confused decision. Yi Tian didn't pay attention to the outside world, but stayed in the dormitory to explore how to resolve the evil spirit in Xiao Yuer's body. What's more, now he thinks that the key point is that Xiao Yuer knows something about the evil spirit, and that's why she keeps away from Yi Tian. She's afraid that in the future, she will lose control of the evil spirit and will be the first to attack the people around her. Therefore, he must let Xiao Yue have confidence in herself before he can be cured. But there were so many people in the school that he couldn't show his Taoism and flying ability in front of her. After all, a person's trust is a very strange thing. It doesn't mean that if you want it, others will give it to you casually. Not to mention, Xiao Yue still thinks it's good for him, so she chooses to avoid him finally, Yi Tian takes out a piece of jade with acceptable material from the storage ring and carves an amulet with the function of calming the mind and protecting the mind. He plans to give it to Xiao Yue at night to help her alleviate the impact of evil spirit on the mind, and then choose the opportunity to get her trust. Time passed quickly. In a blink of an eye, it was evening. Yi Tian took the jade pendant and went to the lake. When he arrived, he saw a pretty figure standing quietly by the lake. The quiet appearance made people feel that she seemed to have integrated with the quiet lake. But Yi Tian felt that the evil spirit in her body was like a blocked crater, brewing a fierce shock wave. You're still here. At the same time, Yi Tian looks at Xiao Yuer's back and says with a smile. Yi Tian, you shouldn't listen to me. Hearing this, Xiao Yuer turned her head and looked at Yi Tian. She shook her head and said slowly, Today is the last time I see you. Tomorrow morning, I will apply to President Chi to give up this competition and return to Yenhua University. Go back? When Yi Tian heard this, his brow turned into a knot in one's heart. He was helpless and moved. How can he not know that the reason why Xiao Yue chose to leave Nanhai and return to Yinjing is very simple, that is, she didn't want to have too much trouble with him, and after the evil spirit backfired, she would choose him first. After all, if the evil spirit breaks out, it will destroy human nature. The people who are affected by the evil spirit are often the first ones who are the closest people in the past, or parents, or lovers, or close friends. What happened to you? Can you tell me? 
and I'll help you solve it? Yi Tian smiles bitterly and looks at Xiao Yuera sincerely. In the last life, he had few friends, and Xiao Yuera was one of them. In the past, he didn't know how to cultivate and couldn't help Xiao Yuera. But now, since he is a man and has 200 years of experience in the spiritual realm of Fangkunling, he can't sit by and watch Xiao Yuera encounter such danger and ignore it. He must find a way to let Xiao Yuera, who was lively and generous in the past, come back with a bright smile at any time. Xiao Yuera looks at Yi Tian bitterly. Her lips move, but she shakes her head and says nothing. Haha, why does Yuera want to go back to Yanjing? Others don't know. Don't you know? But at this time, Su Hao rushed out from the side, looked at Yi Tian with pride, filled with righteous indignation and said, she is the most competitive person in our group. She left just to make you lose less ugly. It's a failure for a man to be you Yi Tian's face is calm, not sad or happy. Ignoring Su Hao's noisy fly, he just looks at Xiao Yuera quietly and says, please believe me. If you really choose to leave, I will leave with you, go to Yin Jing, and stay with you. The more Xiao Yuera is like this, the more he understands that Xiao Yuera highly values the friendship between them, and he can't just sit back and ignore it. You why do you like to show off so much? Listen to me, will you Xiao Yuera was so anxious that she was about to cry. You don't understand people, do you? Moon gives you face, you are still so stubborn. Why don't you pee and look at yourself in the mirror? You are not worthy of the genius of younger martial sister Yuera. Looking at Xiao Yuera, Su Hao thinks that she is overwhelmed by Yi Tian's obsession. For a moment, he is full of pity and compassion. He strides to Xiao Yuera, points to Yi Tian and says in a loud voice. Get out of the way. I can take it as if it didn't happen. Leaf Day indifferently swept Su Hao one eye, light way. I give you face, you don't want face, do you? It seems that I have to teach you a good lesson today. Su Hao listened to this words, the facial expression brushes gloomy come down, right hand suddenly pinch a fist, toward Leaf Day to wave. Yi Tian looks at Su Hao's fist, and doesn't want to talk so much nonsense with him. With a wave of his hand, it's like driving away a disgusting fly, without any prestige. Bang! Wow! But even so, when his arm touched his fist, Su Hao still felt a huge force coming. Like a broken kite, he flew upside down, and then fell heavily into a nearby lake. With the sound of splashing water, he became a drowned chicken. You! Xiao Yuer sees this and looks at Yi Tian in amazement. She feels that Yi Tian in front of her seems different from the one she knows. Apart from anything else, this method of flying a living man is definitely not what Yi Tian could do before, and it is not what most ordinary people can do. Even at this moment, she doubts whether Yi Tian has become a mountain man. This makes her eyes cannot help but appear a hope, but just for a moment, the eyes will be dimmed down. In her opinion, even if Yi Tian became a mountain dweller, it was only a year or two after he went to university. No matter how talented Yi Tian was, it was definitely not good enough to help himself. Help help! At this time, without waiting for Yi Tian to say anything more, Su Hao in the lake was frantically fluttering and shouting for help. Soon, several boys by the lake jumped down and fished out Su Hao who had become a drowned chicken. Yu Yu I know that you are jealous of me, afraid of being defeated by me in the competition, making you lose face in front of you air, so you deliberately want to hurt me. But I'll tell you, it's useless. A scum like you can never beat a bully like me. After Su Hao was rescued, he shivered and looked at Yi Tian. I envy you? Afraid to lose to you? Yi Tian sneered at Su Hao and said, Do you think the eagle in the sky will be jealous and afraid of a little fly in the mud? Shueba, Shueja, I will let you know tomorrow, who is the real Shueja Yu. When Su Hao heard that Yi Tian compared himself to a goshawk, he was so angry that he shivered all over his body and his eyes were angry but if not, he knows that he can't beat Yi Tian, so he wants to rush over and smash Yi Tian and beat him with Peach Blossom. You err, now I am different from what I used to be. I know it's hard for you to believe me now, but I hope you don't leave Nanhai and make a decision after tomorrow's game. Ignoring Su Hao, Yi Tian Jen went to Xiao Yu Er and looked into her eyes. After a sincere sentence, he took out the amulet from his pocket, handed it to Xiao Yu Er and said, This little thing is for you. It's a small gift for us to meet again. Remember to put it on. 
Xiao Yuera looks at Yi Tian with complicated eyes, and finally reaches for the amulet. See you tomorrow. Seeing this, Yi Tian smiles at Xiao Yuera and turns to the office building. He knows that if he doesn't show something completely different from the past, Xiao Yuera won't believe it at all. Now Yi Tian is different from the past, and he won't tell him the truth at all. Younger Marshal Sister Yuera, you don't have to go, let alone be afraid of him. I will protect you. Su Hao saw Yi Tian leave, in the heart relaxed tone, looking at Xiao Yuera away. Just, his words, really and his shivering appearance does not match together. Xiao Yuera didn't even look at Su Hao, so she turned around and carefully wore the amulet given by Yi Tian on her neck. The cool jade makes Xiao Yuera feel that her mind seems to be a lot sober. At this moment, the feeling of dryness and depression that often appears in her heart because of the evil spirit floating becomes much more relaxed. Yi Tian, nice to see you again. This strange feeling, let Xiao Yuera can't help but pinch the amulet, toward the direction of Yi Tian left to see the eyes, the corner of the mouth emerged from the third year of high school, no longer appeared in the face of the smile, murmured. At this moment, she made a decision that she would not leave tomorrow. Let's have a look again to see how many changes Yi Tian had in the period after graduating from high school that she didn't know. Son of a bitch. Learning waste. Tomorrow's competition, I will let you understand that you are not worthy of younger martial sister you are at all. Not only that, you scum are not even qualified to carry shoes for me. Su Hao saw that Xiao Yuer had put on the amulet given by Yi Tian, clenched her fingers, gnashed her teeth, and cursed her viciously. At the same time, Yi Tian has come to Wang Hai's office. After knocking on the door, he saw that in addition to Wang Hai, there were seven students with strange faces in the office. When these people saw him, they all showed a strong look of disdain, and immediately took a few steps to the side, deliberately distancing themselves from him. It was like being ashamed to be with him. Yi Tian, now I finally understand why your grades are so bad, even the most basic concept of time is not there. If you can get good grades, it's God's eyes are closed. Next, a boy who is closest to Wang Hai looks at Yi Tian with disdain. After a sneer, he immediately turns his head and looks at Wang Hai. He solemnly says, Headmaster Wang, Yi Tian has no idea of time. I ask to cancel his qualification. Sorry, I apologize for being late, but I didn't mean to. I just met something and delayed it. When Yi Tian heard this, he frowned and pressed down his displeasure to the boy. Because of Su Hao's interference, he disrupted his plan and delayed his arrival. This is really his fault. Well, Yi Tian also apologized. Let's talk about the competition tomorrow. When Wang Hai saw this, he laughed and gave a ha ha. He was ready to digress from the matter and continue the discussion. I'm sorry, but I'll turn the page? This kind of person has no sense of time and his performance is in a mess. I can't understand why he chose to let this kind of person participate in the competition but at this time, the boy looked at Yi Tian and sneered, saying, if he wants to compete, I'm sorry, I'm ashamed to be associated with this kind of unqualified scum, I choose to withdraw from the competition. Yes, Headmaster Wang, we disdain to participate in this kind of brain contest with a scum. If he's in, we'll drop out. A person who has no idea of time is not qualified to join us in the brain contest. If he's in, then we're out. As soon as the boy's voice fell, the other five students in the office immediately agreed. They are all outstanding students of Nanhai University. In their respective majors, they are all the first in the grade, and their grades are so good that no other students can shake them. Before they came here, after learning about Yi Tian's achievements, they were very upset that a scum of learning was among their own school tyrants. But because this is the decision made by President Wang Hai, they can only hide their unhappiness in their hearts and think that maybe Yi Tian has something extraordinary, so Wang Hai will let him take part in the competition. But who would have thought that Yi Tian didn't arrive until 10 minutes after the 8 o'clock meeting? This kind of practice without the concept of time broke out their dissatisfaction. Of course, in addition to dissatisfaction, they have some selfishness. Although they think they are excellent, they still feel that there is a gap between them and the students of Yenhua University. They have no idea about the competition. If you lose the competition, it is not the past in the eyes of others' excellent image, have become a joke. 
Now, taking Etion's poor performance and lack of time concept as the reason to withdraw from the competition is just to find an excuse, hoping to save face. Wang Hai hears the sound, the brow immediately twisted into a knot in one's heart, some worried to Leaf Day saw an eye. These students are highly expected by him. If these people withdraw from the competition, the next competition with exchange students of Yenhua University will be troublesome. You don't think I'm qualified? But at this time, Yi Tian looked at the students and said with an indifferent smile, in this case, I'll show you what qualifications I have. At this moment, he has seen that his being late is just an excuse made by these guys. In essence, they don't want to participate in the competition with the exchange students of Yenhua University, so they deliberately use his disqualification as a shield. As the words fall, Yi Tian goes to the bookcase behind Wang Hai and draws out a book at will. What do you want to do? The boy saw Yi Tian's action, frowned and said. Isn't tomorrow a brain race? Let's compare memory. The rule is very simple. Pick a page at random, and each person will read it for three minutes. Then we will compare who can recite the content of this page. Yi Tian casually raised the book in his hand, with a mocking smile on the corner of his mouth, and said, Yushueba, don't tell me that you don't even have the courage. Ha ha, how do we know if you have read this book? The boy glanced at Yi Tian and said, I'm a Chinese major. Do you think I can read such ancient medical books? Yi Tian opened the book in his hand and scanned his eyes. He found that it was a treatise on febrile diseases and miscellaneous diseases. Seeing the title of the book, the students' eyes immediately changed and they believed in Yi Tian's words. After all, no matter how boring the students in the Chinese department are, they will not read an ancient medical book. Moreover, it is an encyclopedia of typhoid and miscellaneous diseases, such as treatise on typhoid and miscellaneous diseases. The content is complex, and even the professional students of traditional Chinese medicine can hardly recite it. Not to mention, Yi Tian's report card is a mess, which is proof that this guy is a college scum. Such a guy, even if he can't learn his major well, how can he spend his energy on such a highly professional department? Compare, compare, since it's your proposal, then you come first. The boy's eyes changed. He looked at Yi Tian and said in a deep voice. Yi Tian Zhen didn't want to talk with these people. He handed the book to Wang Hai and asked him to turn to one of the pages. His eyes were like electricity. After scanning, he threw the book to the boy and said, I'm finished. You can see it. This guy, he's finished so soon. The boy smell speech, suspicious looked at Yi Ti on one eye, and then opened the book, began to read. But after just looking at a few lines, his brow turned into a knot in one's heart. This treatise on febrile diseases is all written in ancient Chinese prose, and it is highly professional. For those who have no foundation in traditional Chinese medicine, it is too difficult to recite it. Three minutes went by. It's time to start the game. Yi Tian looks at the time, sweeps the boy's eyes, light way. You go first. The boy took the opportunity to read a few more lines, and then said to Yi Tianchen. If it's absolute, it's going to go down to two jia. If it's on the first day of the month, it's going against the rule of medicine. Yi Tian hears the sound and smiles indifferently. Then he carries it in a loud voice. What are you carrying? At sixes and sevens. At your level, do you mean to take part in the brain contest? That boy listened to Yi Tian's words, immediately loud sneer more than, looking at Yi Tian, full face disdain way. A mess? Yi Tian sneered at the boy, turned to Wang Hai who was a judge with a book and said, President Wang, read the last line to him. If there is a way to cure the rebellious, it will last for one month, if there is a way to vomit, it will never happen. Hearing this, Wang Hai immediately read out the content of the last line. Immediately, his face was shocked. Looking at Yi Tian, he was stunned and said, You are just back. What? Back no way. How can a scum be able to recite like a stream after only a few eyes it's impossible? If he is really so good, how can his grades be so bad? After hearing this, the students around him suddenly changed their looks. They clung to Wang Hai's back and glanced at the books in his hand. They all took a cold breath and looked at Yi Tian in disbelief. What Yi Tian recites is indeed the words on this page. 
However, Yi Tian recited it backwards. Treatise on febrile diseases is very professional and obscure. Yi Tian just looked at it. According to common sense, reciting it is a very difficult thing, let alone reciting it backwards. How abnormal is the memory, he can do this step. What's more, if he really has such a strong memory, how could his previous grades be so bad? You cheat. You've read this book. The boy looked at Yi Tian in surprise and then said in a cold voice. I've seen it? Yi Tian smiles indifferently, points to the bookshelf behind him, and says, Pick any page, turn any page, and I'll recite it to you one by one. You don't think I've read all these books the boy stares at Yi Tian and then rushes to the bookshelf without believing in evil. His eyes pass by. He picks out some extremely obscure books and turns one page to Yi Tian. After a few eyes, Yi Tian opened his mouth in a loud voice, still reciting backwards. It's impossible, it's impossible, a scum, how can it be? The boy was completely confused, staring at Yi Tian, his face full of disbelief. Not only is he, even Wang Hai, are stunned, he also did not expect, Yi Tian will have such a strong memory. You don't think it's possible? That's because you're so stupid. Yi Tianbi glanced at those students and said with a light sneer, You rotten wood are also qualified to talk with me? You rotten wood deserve to talk with me? Yi Tian's words fall, the students of the competition team, their cheeks are hot and hot, they just feel like they have been slapped in the face. Not only that, but also when they remembered that Yi Tian was not qualified to participate in the competition and did not deserve to be with them, they bowed their heads like the defeated cocks, hoping to find a way to get in. Yi Tian is really not suitable to be in the same team with them. But it's not because Yi Tian is too bad, it's what they think of as learning dregs. But they are not qualified to stand with Yi Tian. But they really can't understand how strong a person's memory must be, just like Yi Tian's, so they can casually glance at the content of a whole page backwards. Haha, <laughs> I know something about Yi Tian's grades. In the past, he liked to keep a low profile but didn't like to make it public. So, he didn't show his excellent memory. After a long absence, Wang Hai became excited and laughed. Although these students have been regarded as the top students in Nanhai University, they are still not sure about the brain power competition. They think that they may not even be able to lose so badly. But now, Yi Tian's performance makes him more confident. He even thinks that maybe he can win one or two games. Now, do you think I'm qualified to compete? Yi Tian looked at the other students and said faintly. The students immediately lowered their heads and could not say a word. If Yi Tian is not qualified to participate in this competition, then they are even less qualified. Headmaster Wang, I have something else to do. If nothing else, I'll see you tomorrow. Seeing this, Yi Tian smiles indifferently and nods to Wang Hai. Okay, you go first. We'll gather at the playground at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning to have a good rest. Tomorrow, we'll give some color to those guys with eyes above the top of Yenhua University. Wan Hai busily nodded, personally helped Yi Tian open the door and send him out. Tomorrow's competition will be dominated by Yi Tian and supplemented by you. I hope you can unite as one and let them have a good look at the strength of Nanhai University. Wang Hai saw off Yi Tian Ho and said in a deep voice to several other students, a group of students heard the speech, nodded silently, and then left bitterly. Although they are unwilling to do something, they know that Yi Tian's memory is much better than those of them. Under such circumstances, even if they don't want to, they can only respect Yi Tian. At this time, after leaving school, Yi Tian drove back to the rental house. Yu Ching, what happened? As soon as Yi Tian's car stopped, he saw that Yi Ching was standing at the door anxiously, his hands intertwined, and he kept looking around. He was very worried, as anxious as an ant on a hot pot. Yi Tian, you are back. Cicada Cicada, she has been taken away. When she heard this, her tears immediately fell down, and she said in a trembling voice. The Cicada was captured by someone? When Yi Tian heard the sound, his heart sank suddenly. He said that today, only Shi Qing was standing at the door, and she was not with her cicada. It turned out that she had an accident. Don't worry. What happened? Make it clear to me Yi Tian looks awe-inspiring. 
He grabs Chun Ching's arm and puts a magic power into her body. After she calms down, he says slowly. This afternoon, Cicada came to you to practice boxing. I didn't take it seriously. At dinner time, before she came, I came. Unexpectedly, Cicada wasn't in. On the table in the room, there was a note saying that Cicada had been captured by him I don't know what to do, and without your call, I can only wait here for you to come back. She raised her arm, wiped her tears and sobbed with trembling. Where is the note? Yi Tianshan said. In the house. He Ching pointed to the yard. Hearing this, Yi Tian walks into the living room and immediately sees a note on the desk. Bring me Mandala's head, and I'll give this little girl back to you, or I'll wait to collect her body. Goshawk the content on the note is extremely simple, with only a short sentence, but the threat in it is beyond expression. Damn it after reading the contents of the note, Yi Tian looks awe-inspiring and claps it on the tea table again. With a bang, he breaks it apart. When he finished cleaning up Li Chang and Li Ming brothers, he saw the news that Kanjiang would come to Nanhai from their mobile phones, but he thought that even if the eagle came to the South China Sea, he would find himself first. In that case, with his strong perception, as soon as he shows up, he will be found by himself. But I didn't expect that Kanjiang ran to the rental house first and captured the cicada. Just, how does Goshawk know that he rented a house here? Yi Tian, what should we do? He Ching nervously looks at Yi Tian, hands stir into a ball, confused. Cicada, is her life, now, Cicada was kidnapped, how can she not heart into a group? Relax, I'll find a way. Yi Tianwen's voice comforted Chun Ching, but his brow turned into a knot in one's heart. On the note left by Kanjiang, he only asked him to bring Mandala to him, but he didn't say where he would take Mandala. It seems that this guy has found Mandala is not in the South China Sea so he didn't write down the trading location, revealing his location. Where's the chestnut? All of a sudden, Yi Tian suddenly found that the living room was very quiet. Xiao Lizi was not in the room. You know, little chestnut is a kind of alien spirit beast. It has a strong sense of danger and is extremely fast. Even if the goshawk is very strong, it can only capture the cicada at most, but there is no way to take away little chestnut. When I came, it wasn't here. She heard the sound, recalled it carefully, shook her head and said. Little chestnut, I should have followed the goshawk. We'll wait here for it to come back. Yi Tian hears speech, the vision suddenly a bright, sink a voice way. Is that squirrel that smart? Green smell speech, surprised to see Yi Tian one eye, way. Xiao Lizi is very alert. In addition to showing high spirituality in front of Yi Tian and Shi Ching, she behaves like a slightly cute and clever squirrel in front of other people. That's why she has this misunderstanding. It's not a normal squirrel. Yi Tian Chen said in a deep voice, then casually said to Yu Ching, do you have any feeling that something is wrong? The charm of the green oyster is connected with her heart and vitality. Whether there is a problem in the life of the mother or the child, the other side will feel it. Therefore, Yi Tian wants to use this inquiry to confirm whether the cicada is safe now. I, I don't feel anything wrong. When she heard the words, she looked at Yi Tian in a panic, then shook her head. I don't know why, there is a feeling in her heart, as if Yi Tian already knew their identity. That's good. Let's wait for little chestnut to come back. Don't worry, as long as Xiao Lizi comes back, I will be able to save the cicada. Besides, I will let those who dare to hurt her pay the price of bleeding. The leaf day hears speech, in the heart slightly relaxed tone, after comforting to the green temperature sound, the eye ground kills the machine to be chilly. When he returned to this world, he was the first to care about two people, especially the little girl. He will let Goshawk understand that the choice of extending his claw to the cicada is really the biggest mistake of his life. In a flash of time, it was late at night. Wow! At two o'clock in the middle of the night, along the wall, there was a sudden rustle, followed by a white shadow, which suddenly floated down from the courtyard wall. Little Chestnut is back. Yi Tian heard the sound and immediately walked out of the door. Squeak squeak. When she heard the words, she rushed out of the door. As far as she could see, Xiao Lizi was standing in the middle of the yard. Her big ruby eyes were full of anxiety, and her body was standing up. 
Her short front paws were raised backward, and she was shouting at Yi Tian like a guide. You've just been following the cicada? When Yi Tian saw the appearance of the chestnut, he was very happy and asked it in a deep voice. Squeak squeak. Little chestnut busily nodded, front paw pointed to the right front, and screamed to Yi Tian. Good. Seeing this, Yi Tian reached out and picked up the chestnut from the ground and put it on his shoulder. Then he turned his head and looked at the cicada. He said in a deep voice, don't come here. Wait at home. Don't worry. I will bring the cicada back safely. You have to be more careful, too. She green flustered of nod, then to leaf day exhort away. Go Yi Tian Chong nodded his head, then rushed out of the yard quickly and let Xiao Lizi guide him on his shoulder. It must be good we must be good. He Ching looks at Yi Tian's back, his hands intertwine in front of him and mumbles in his mouth. But it wasn't long before the words came out. When she recalled the appearance of the little chestnut, her face was suddenly stunned. A little squirrel showed such incredible spirituality, but Yi Tian's performance was extremely calm. What does this show? Yi Tian is definitely not an ordinary person. Even at this moment, she suddenly doubts that Yi Tian already knows the identity of herself and Cicada. When it's over, do you want to escape? The appearance of this thought, let a heart of Chun Ching instantly mention the throat. I don't think so. He doesn't look like a villain with evil intentions. But the next second, she shook her head again. At the same time, Yi Tian is galloping all the way under the guidance of Xiao Li Zi. Because it was late at night, Yi Tian didn't restrain his speed. His figure on the road was like a gust of wind. Every step was nearly two or three meters away. Squeak squeak. More than two hours later, one of Xiao Li Zi's forepaws suddenly pinched Yi Tian's shoulder. When Yi Tian stopped, he pointed to a residential area on the right side of his body. The cicada was brought here? Seeing this, Yi Tian asked the little chestnut in a low voice. Little Chestnut nodded without thinking, and pointed to the inside of the community. Good. In response, Yi Tian glanced around and made sure that there was no one around him. Then he leaped forward. His feet were like springs. With amazing jumping power, he turned over the wall of the community and stood firmly in a piece of grass. Squeak squeak. As soon as he entered the community, Xiao Lizi pointed to the front right. Yi Tian saw this, immediately cat waist, carefully toward the right front, finally, stopped in front of a villa. Zhizhi. Xiao Lizi heard the words, lowered his voice, and called to Yi Tian twice, indicating that the cicada was brought into the villa. Hearing this, Yi Tian immediately, like a flexible cat, quickly climbed over the wall of the villa without any sound and came to the position outside the living room of the villa. Then he spread his mind and scanned inside. No wonder the grandson was so honest when he was in the canteen. He was already mixed with the wolf. As his mind passes by, Yi Tian immediately sees that Cicada is tied up and thrown on the sofa, struggling. On the side of Cicada, a middle-aged man with a beard is pushing a cup with Nyo Su to change his cup. They are both drunk, hot, and flushed. Brother Goshawk, are you sure Yi Tian won't find here? At this time, Nil Su, who was drunk and hazy in the living room, just like suddenly sensing something, turned to look at the door, and asked the eagle with a nervous look. Don't worry, I'm a professional. On the way back, I checked carefully, and found no sign of being followed. That boy can't find here in any case. The eagle gave a cold smile, full of confidence. The leaf day smell speech, toward the small chestnut of shoulder head saw an eye, the corner of the mouth starts to put on a smile. Goshawk is right. No one is following him, because he is a little squirrel. That's good. After hearing this, Nyo Su breathed a sigh of relief. Then he glanced at the bottom of his eyes and said with a ferocious smile, When I get to school today, I must have a good look at this boy's anxious and angry appearance. At this point, Nyo Su's face is a look of expectation. It seems that he has seen that Yi Tian is upset because of the disappearance of the cicada. Finally, in order to let the cicada live, he can only kneel in front of him and beg like a dog. Bang! Hearing the sound, Yi Tian changed his eyes and strode to the door. He kicked the door down suddenly and turned it to the ground with a roar. 
His eyes mocked Nyo Su and said, Don't wait to go to school. What's my expression? You can see it now. Yi Tian. Nyo Su hears the sound and sweeps toward the door. His head is buzzing. He can't believe it. Then he looks at the eagle in dismay. How do you know I'm here? It's not only Nyo Su, but also Kanjiang. One second before, he promised Nyo Su that Yi Tian couldn't find here. The next second, Yi Tian broke into the house. How could he not be disturbed by this strong impact? If you want to be unknown, don't do it yourself. Yi Tian smiles indifferently and says coldly. At this time, after a short period of confusion, Nyo Su was sober in shivers. He turns around and rushes to the cicada on the sofa beside him. He wants to hold the cicada and let Yi Tian throw the rat away. Cicada, close your eyes. Yi Tian sees Nyo Su's action and says a word to the cicada first. After she closes her eyes, the mana surges. A clear wind blade blows at Nyo Su's arm. Ah! As the wind blade passed by, Nyo Su's right arm immediately broke into two parts, and the blood gushed out like a fountain. The sharp pain made others fall to the ground immediately, making bursts of shrill howls like killing pigs. Do you do it yourself, or do you want me to help you? Closely following, Yi Tian turns to look at the side of the eagle, cold way. You dream of killing me hawk cold drink at foot toward the tea table force a kick, then kick it to fly, toward Yi Tian heavily hit. At the same time, under the cover of the tea table, he rushed to the cicada who was tied by all kinds of flowers. So you're going to let me help you? When Yi Tian's eyes are cold, the fierce sort of pregnant elixir field suddenly appears in his palm. With a wave, he cuts the tea table in half like a sharp knife cutting tofu, and then follows it. Without delay, he appears in front of the eagle and cuts it off with his sword. Poop. Poop. A sword cut down, the eagle only feel waist abdomen position suddenly a cool, closely followed, then saw let him feel absurd to the extreme picture. He clearly felt that his upper body was still flying forward, but his lower body fell to the ground uncontrollably. Cut your back. But the next second, the terrible pain along the waist and abdomen made him realize what he had experienced. His lips trembled and murmured, and the world in front of him turned into a bright red. The eagle is dead. Nyosu looks at this scene with fear, and almost forgets the pain of breaking his arm. After a few chills, he kneels on the ground in a hurry and katas to Yi Tian repeatedly, begging in a cry, Yi Tian, I'm blinded by lard, so I can do these stupid things. Please, for the sake of the students, forgive me. I swear, I really don't dare to ask you if I see you at school. At this moment, his intestines were almost blue. He swore that if he knew how to calculate Yi Tian, it would be like this. Even if he killed him, he didn't dare to do it. Just like you, you want to be my grandson? Why don't you take a pee? Do you have that qualification? You must not live if you do evil to yourself Yi Tian sweeps Nyo Su's eyes. With a cold word and a wave of his hand, he cuts Nyo Su's head from his neck. A few times ago, he let Nyo Su go because no matter what, this guy is just an ordinary person. He is too lazy to bother with this kind of mole ant. He thinks that if we teach him a lesson, we can stop it in the future. But I didn't expect that Nyo Su, a guy, even made more efforts. This time, he stepped on his bottom line. If you don't kill such a fierce guy, will you wait for the spring festival? Nyosu's head fell to the ground and his eyes were wide open. He was staring at the ceiling with fear and regret in his eyes but unfortunately, in this world, there is no regret medicine, people do wrong, they have to pay the price. A group of things that don't know how to live or die. After glancing at the room, Yi Tian takes out the acid and destroys the bodies of Nyosu and Kanjiang. He unties the rope on the cicada and takes her out of the room. A fireball hits into the villa. Boom! With a dull sound, the whole villa immediately fell into a sea of fire, and soon, it will be burned to a piece of white ground. Let's go! Seeing that the fire was raging, Yi Tian quickly left the community with a cicada and a small chestnut in his arms. Master, may I open my eyes? After leaving the community, the cicada nestled in Yi Tian's arms, trembled. Open it! Yi Tian rubbed the cicada's head with a smile and said in a warm voice. Master, you beat all the bad guys away? 
The cicada opened his eyes and looked around, holding E.T. on tightly and trembling. Don't worry. No one dares to bully you with master. Yi Tian nodded, and then said to the cicada, this time you have to thank Xiao Lizi. If it wasn't for him to lead the way, even Shifu, I couldn't find you so soon. As the saying goes, it's hard to find a thousand people for one person to collect treasure. The location of this villa is very remote. If Xiao Lizi hadn't followed him all the way before, even he couldn't have found it so soon. Squeak squeak. When Xiao Lizi heard Yi Tian's words, he immediately looked at the cicada, hopping and calling for credit. Thank you. I will give you more fruit in the future. When the cicada saw this, he held the chestnut in his arms, buried his face on his body, rubbed it, and said gratefully. Zhizhi. Little chestnut raised her head and rubbed the cicada's cheek intimately, as if to comfort her. Soon, one person, one charm and one squirrel went back to the rental house. Cicada. Since Yi Tian left, she has been guarding the door. As soon as she saw Yi Tian holding the cicada back, she immediately ran over. After taking the cicada from Yi Tian's arms, she held it tightly in her arms and burst into tears. When she found the note, she was really worried that she would never see another cicada in her life. But fortunately, her worries were superfluous, and the mother and daughter got together again. Mom, don't cry. I'm fine now. Those guys didn't dare to do anything to me. Shurfu also helped me out. Seeing this, the cicada quickly raised her little hand and helped her wipe away the tears on her cheek. Yi Tian, thank you. When she heard the speech, she bowed to the ground and expressed her gratitude to Yi Tian. This time, it's because of my thoughtlessness, and it's because of me. It's up to me to apologize to you. Yi Tian hastily helps Yu Qing up and feels guilty. This time, Cicada was kidnapped, first because he was soft-hearted to Nyo Su, and second because he was too careless to make complete preparations. Fortunately, the Cicada did not have an accident, otherwise, he would not be able to forgive himself all his life. Now, it's not nice to accept Chen Qing's thanks. In the future, I must practice boxing well, thousands of times a day. If there is any guy who dares to do harm to me in the future, I will knock them out with one punch. The cicada waved his fist hard, and his face was firm and solemn. Good. Yi Tian rubbed the cicada's head with regret, but when he looked up, he saw that the sky was bright and the sun had been rising for some time. He took out his mobile phone and looked at the time. He found that it was already 8.55 and immediately said, no good. Master, what's the matter? When the cicada hears Yi Tian's words, he thinks something has happened and says in a hurry. There are still some things to deal with in my school. I'll leave first. Have a good rest. Yi Tian looks at Chen Chang and Chen Chan, then turns around quickly and rushes to the parking place. Just now, he has been busy with the kidnapping of cicada, but he has forgotten that there is still brain competition today. Now he is late. At the same time, Nanhai University, playground. After last night's fermentation, it has been widely spread that the exchange students of Yenhua University will have a brain contest with the students of Nanhai University. At 8 a.m., the playground has been surrounded by students. To everyone's surprise, Yi Tian didn't show up at 9 o'clock in the world when Wang Hai and Shi Chunqing arrived with the contestants. Moreover, after waiting for 10 minutes, Yi Tian still didn't appear at the scene, so that the playground immediately burst the pot. Brother Hao, it seems that the guy named Yi Tian chose to be a turtle, hiding his head in the turtle shell. In the middle of the playground, a student standing next to Su Hao looked at Su Hao pondering a sentence, then turned to the students of Nanhai University and said with a sneer, well, students of Nanhai University really don't have a sense of time. It's said that the match will start at 9. It's 10 past 9. It hasn't appeared yet. If he didn't dare to accept the challenge, he would have said it before. Now he doesn't dare to come. What a coward, yes, a coward. Haha, ha, I didn't expect that the students of Nanhai University should be like this, cowards, cowards. I've never seen such a timid person. Even if he will lose, he won't even dare to come. In this way, last night, he also intended to challenge Su Hao, saying that he should understand what is the real learning dregs. 
The other students of Yenhua University also joined in the attack on Yi Tian. Everyone, in a vicious language, ridicules Yi Tian. Yi Tian, where have you been? Did he forget what he said to himself last night? Xiao Yuer's eyebrows are tight and wrinkled, and her face is full of doubts. Last night, when Yi Tian said those words to himself, he was very determined and sincere. It's impossible to say that. Just one night, did he repent? Yi Tian, what's the matter? He was late for such an important competition. Did he have no sense of time, or did he shrink his eggs just as the guys at Yenhua University said damn, it's a shame to have such a classmate at the stall. Before the game starts, let people slap in the face. There won't be any delay. I don't think Yi Tian is the kind of person who is afraid of things. In Nanhai University, some students feel that they have lost face and grumble discontentedly. However, some students help Yi Tian speak. But there is no doubt that at this moment, because Yi Tian is late, the game has not started, it has become a mess. Yi Tian, it's you who don't have the courage to compete, but you can't blame others. Looking at the noisy scene, Su Hao put on a smile of satisfaction. Then he stepped forward to Wang Hai and Chi Chunqing and said with righteous words, two principles, as you can see, Yi Tian is already 15 minutes late. This kind of person with no sense of time is not worthy to compete with us. I suggest that we should not wait any longer and cancel him directly, I'm not qualified for the competition. Yes, disqualify him. Such people are not qualified to compete with us. The other exchange students of Yenhua University followed suit and yelled. President Wang. Shi Chunqing listened to these words, looked at Wang Hai with a smile, and said, This Yi Tian classmate of your school doesn't seem to care about the competition very much. In this case, I don't think we need to wait for him anymore. Let's get ready for the competition. Master, what are you doing? Wang Hai's brows wrinkled and his eyes changed. After what happened last night, he has put all the treasures on the press, but who would have thought that Yi Tian has not appeared yet? It can't be said that just like the students of Yenhua University, Yi Tian is afraid to compete, right? But Yi Tian doesn't seem to be that kind of person. Sorry, something happened at home. I'm late. But at this time, along the crowd, suddenly came Yi Tian's voice, followed by, he bowed to all the people present, apologized, this is my fault, I am willing to admit it. This guy is here. When Su Hao heard this, his face immediately sank. Especially when Yu Guang saw Xiao Yu or Si Tian appear, and his eyes appeared a touch of joy, his face became more gloomy, and he bit his teeth to death. That appearance, just like hate can't swallow Yi Tian alive. He doesn't agree. Why did Yi Tian, who was only admitted to Nanhai University, a quasi-first-class student, make such an excellent Xiao Yu care so much? In his opinion, the people who should win Xiao Yu heart and get her attention should belong to themselves. After all, born in Yenhua University, he is the first grade in every exam. He is the real pride of heaven. As for Yi Tian, such a guy who has no idea of time, what is he? At this moment, the dark side of Su Hao's heart broke out completely because of jealousy. He will step on Yi Tian. Yes, he wants to be superior and win Xiao Yu Er's heart. Soon, you are nothing in Yu Er's heart. Right away, I will step on you, step on you, and become the existence favored by Yu Er. The ultimate resentment and hatred, let Su Hao almost enchanted. Haha, ha, do you accept the punishment? How do you want us to punish you? Thinking of this, Su Hao looked at Yi Tian first and said with a mockery, Don't tell us, you are going to let us punish you out of the game. In that case, isn't it just what you want? At this moment, Su Hao has decided to have a real fight in the competition field and crush Yi Tian with his IQ. Therefore, he wants to block Yi Tian's way out of the competition early. Yes, the reason why you are late is that you want us to disqualify you. Don't be so paranoid about this. We won't disqualify you. Since you are willing to accept the penalty, let's talk about how we intend to punish you, except that you withdraw from the competition. As soon as Su Hao's words came out, the exchange students of Yenhua University immediately felt that the reason why Yi Tian came here now was probably that he deliberately used the reason of being late to force himself to withdraw from the competition and immediately changed his words. These guys Yi Tian listened to these words, almost didn't laugh. 
On his way here, the most worrying thing for him is that he is afraid of Su Hao, who will use the reason of being late to cancel his qualification. He didn't expect these guys to want him to play so much. It seems that I am regarded as a soft persimmon. In that case, I'll show you who is the real soft persimmon. Yi Tian chuckled in his heart, turned to look at Su Hao and others, and said faintly, don't worry, I won't quit. As for punishment, that's good. Since I'm 10 minutes late, I'll let you have 10 minutes for the next competition. 10 minutes. Is this guy crazy? The brain race gives people 10 minutes. Isn't it an explicit demand to lose? Damn, is this guy from Nanhai University or a spy sent by Yenhua University? Yi Tian's words fell, not to mention Su Hao, the exchange students of Yenhua University were stunned, and the students of Nanhai University immediately fell into boiling. No one thought that Yi Tian would make such a request for punishment. You know, in addition to the level of intelligence, time is another thing to compete in mental competition. The more time you have, the higher the chance of winning. Now, Yi Tian even wants to let the other side for 10 minutes. Isn't it a plan to give the other side a victory in vain? All this, let a person can't help but have some doubt, Leaf Day's brain, is not confused, just can say this kind of words. Even some students from Nanhai University think Yi Tian is a spy sent by Yinhua University. Yi Tian, don't. Wang Hai is also confused. He looks at Yi Tian in a daze. He is not sure whether he is confident or forgetful. After all, it's not 10 seconds, 1 or 2 minutes, but 10 minutes to decide the outcome of the game. Don't worry, I have everything. Hearing this, Yi Tian smiles and shakes his head toward Wang Hai, with a strong and confident attitude. Principle Wang, since Yi Tian is so confident, don't be his enthusiasm. Just let the students who have been waiting for him for such a long time have 10 more minutes to observe. After all, our competition is two wins in three games. Even if you lose one game, you still have the chance to pull back the next two games. At this time, Shi Chunqing also looked at Wang Hai and said with a smile. 10 minutes, the basic has been able to determine the success or failure of a game, this opportunity, he really does not want to miss. Wang Hai frowned and looked at Yi Tian. When he saw Yi Tian nodding to him again, he gritted his teeth and said, okay, let's go for 10 minutes according to what Yi Tian said. However, these students from Nanhai University have been waiting for 10 minutes, so they can get the compensation. Don't worry, I'll give you this time. Shi Chunqing seemed to wave his hand very generously and said with a smile. He has great confidence in the students he brings. Ten minutes will definitely make them win. As for the students of Nanhai University, it seems that even giving them ten minutes more will not help. If these students are really smart, they should be in the exchange student team of Yenhua University, not in Nanhai University. Lack of intelligence, even if take time to make up, there is no significance. Today's brain contest is divided into three rounds. The rules are very simple. Two wins in three sets. After that, Shi Chunqing looked around the field and said in a loud voice to the microphone, first scene, micro-knowledge. We used the photos of 60 Korean ladies for AI synthesis to produce 1770 similar synthetic faces, and then randomly select two of them. Each challenger has 30 seconds to observe, and then has 3 minutes to find out these two photos from 1770 synthetic faces, with his words as like his two peas, the big LCD screen in the middle of the playground immediately lit up, and 1770 almost identical faces suddenly appeared on the screen. Hiss this kind of play is also too abnormal, so many faces, see all dazzled, how to find the corresponding ah I'll go. It's really difficult. Isn't it necessary to burn all human brain cells? Lean on is like these faces are as like as two peas. How do I recognize them? It seems that I'm really a scum. I don't deserve to play with such a high IQ thing. Seeing this scene, the students around immediately became a mess, and countless people gasped for air. They only felt that the difficulty of the examination questions was shocking. You know, South Korea is a country of uncanny craftsmanship. Every Miss Korea is basically a product of the assembly line. It's a big test for people to stand together and try to distinguish who is who, not to mention the intelligent synthesis of AI. 
What's the difference between these faces just 30 seconds, watch the photos, and then find out these two photos from 1770 photos. What's the difference between such difficulty in climbing to the sky? Of course, according to what Yi Tian said just now, except Yi Tian, other students have 13 minutes to look for the corresponding two photos after seeing them. At this time, Shi Chunxing looked at Yi Tian playfully, looked around the field, and then said, Next, I announce that the competition begins. Brush. Shi Chunxing dropped as like as two peas. The huge LCD screen immediately flashed, and instantly, too, no matter the facial features or the eyebrow, were almost exactly the same in common people's eyes. The two pictures carved out of a mold suddenly appeared bigger and bigger, and appeared in front of the public. Time, start. At the moment when the picture appeared, with Chi Chuanxing's words falling, the top left of the screen immediately began to beat in seconds. The speed made people feel that every beat made the heart pumping quickly, hanging in the throat. I want to win. I want to prove that Su Hao is stronger than Yi Tian. Hearing the sound, Su Hao suddenly pinches his fingers tightly, and then stares at the screen tightly, trying to engrave every detail of the photo in his mind, so that he can find these two photos from the massive photo library. Okay, time is over. 30 seconds, like a runaway wild horse, is fleeting. At the moment when time returns to zero, Shi Chunxing immediately says in a deep voice. Brush. As a result, the photos on the screen instantly shrunk, mixed into the remaining 1768 photos, and then underwent spiral changes, completely disrupting the previous position. Start to identify. You have 13 minutes. After that, Shi Chunxing looked at Su Hao and others, said in a deep voice, then turned to Yi Tian and said, Yi Tian, in order to be fair and satisfy your wish of self-punishment, you need to turn your head aside and wait for 10 minutes. Su Hao hears the sound and immediately looks at Yi Tian with a ferocious smile. For most people, after seeing these two similar pictures, they will forget them, not to mention 10 minutes. Even if Yi Tian's memory is very strong, he also believes that 10 minutes later, Yi Tian can't remember the two photos. Not only Su Hao, but also Xiao Yue can't help looking at Yi Tian. To her surprise, Yi Tian didn't have any worry on his face. Even when he found that he was looking at him, he winked at himself with a smile, a good look of being ready for leisure. Is it true that Yi Tian now is different from Yi Tian before? This smile made Xiao Yue look stunned and confused. Dear students, seize the time and don't be distracted. Shi Chunchang saw Xiao Yue's appearance, frowned, coughed and reminded her. Xiao Yue smell speech, this just turned his head, toward the electronic screen in front of the past, began to look for identification. This time, I will step on you and let Yue understand that you are not worthy of him at all. Looking at Xiao Yue, Su Hao pinches her fingers tightly. It's like knocking over a jar of vinegar in his heart, and the sour gas rushes to the sky. Ten minutes passed quickly. In these ten minutes, the difference between students' brain power is also apparent now. Some students, with a relaxed smile, seem to have the chance to win, but some students are frowning. Although they are still trying to identify, the confusion in their eyes has betrayed the fact that they have actually seen too much. Of the two, most of the exchange students in Yenhua University are confident, with only two students hesitating. However, in Nanhai University, only two students are confident while the other students are full of confusion and uneasiness. Obviously, they are dazzled by these 1770 extremely similar photos. Yi Tian, time is up, you can recognize it. Wang Hai looked at the scene and determined that 10 minutes had passed. He looked at Yi Tian in a hurry and said in a loud voice. Hearing the sound, Yi Tian turns around and walks to the front of the big screen. His eyes quickly sweep towards the screen. He smiles at Wang Hai and says, Headmaster Wang, I can tell. I'll go. It's only a minute. This guy can tell? No, there's not a minute. When he walks by, I start to count 25 seconds in total. If I cut off his walking time, then he spends less than 10 seconds in total. 10 seconds. Does this guy mean to be funny? How did Headmaster Wang choose such a guy? As soon as Yi Tian's words came out, the whole playground was boiling, and the voice of doubt was heard all the time. You know, even those students in Yenhua University who have been watching for 10 minutes have not made a judgment, 
but Yi Tian, who started to distinguish at the latest, was the first to give the answer. Yi Tian. Wang Hai also muddled, toward Yi Tian Kuang make eyes, hope he can see more. Ha ha ha, Yi Tian is really excellent. It's only a few seconds before you can tell. Principle 1, you really have a good student. Now that you've finished reading it, write down the position of the photos you distinguished on the paper. When other students have finished distinguishing, let's publish the answers together. Seeing this, Chi Chunsheng immediately interrupts Wang Hai's words and makes a playful compliment to Yi Tian. However, when it comes to the word good student, he deliberately drags the tone so long that even a fool can recognize the taunt in his words. For these, Yi Tian chuckles and writes the answers on the paper, leans on the chair, and quietly waits for the end of time. Time is up. Soon, three minutes later, as soon as Wang Hai raised his hand, the electronic screen went black. Immediately, he looked at a group of students participating in the competition and said, Next, write your answers. Hearing this, a group of students immediately wrote the answers and handed them to Qi Chuncheng and Wang Hai. Next, publish the answer. The correct answer is AE96, CQ120. After collecting all the answers, Wang Hai looks at Qi Chuncheng, and then the two enter half of their passwords on the computer, unseal them, and read out the final correct answer. Among the exchange students of Yenhua University, there are five who are correct, namely Su Hao and Xiaoyue, two who answer the right one, and none who answer the wrong one. Wang Hai opened the answers given by the exchange students of Yenhua University, and after referring to them, his face immediately became a little ugly. He said slowly, but the more he read, the more ugly his face became and the more depressed his voice became. Seven people, five people answered correctly, and two people answered one correctly. This achievement is really dazzling. Nanhai University, distinguish the right, three, distinguish the right, none, answer the wrong, five. At this time, Chi Chunsheng read the transcript of Nanhai University. The students of Nanhai University around the playground could hardly see the extreme and felt a deep sense of frustration. 5 to 3, 2 to 0, 0 to 5, the score, the gap is too wide. It's all because of Yi Tian. If it wasn't for him, these guys from Nanhai University, how could they get such a long observation time? Their grades would not be so good. This guy has been watched by others for 13 minutes, but he only watched for a few seconds. I really suspect that he is a spy sent by Yenhua University. He deliberately delayed Nanhai University and made us lose badly. Well, how could Headmaster Wang choose such a guy to compete? Even if I go, I'll be better than him. At the same time of frustration, many students of Nanhai University look at Yi Tian with bad eyes. They are very indignant. Boy, do you see that? You are such a scum, even your own people can't stand it. In the future, you will never have a foothold in Nanhai University. Listening to the noise below, Su Hao raised his head with pride and looked at Yi Tian with arrogant eyes, as if he had seen that after the game, Yi Tian ended up like a street mouse in Nanhai University, and everyone yelled for a fight. To distinguish the correct names, they are Zhao Mingliang and Du Chen. At this time, Shi Chunsheng began to announce the correct names of his classmates from Nanhai University. However, just after he read out the names of the two classmates with a high head and a smile on his face, he was suddenly strangled and his face was full of disbelief. Then he raised his hand and rubbed his eyes. Then he looked at Yi Tian strangely and slowly said the last person's name Yi Tian. Who? Is he talking about Yi Tian? Did I hear you right? This guy, you got it right? Didn't he just take a few seconds to get it all right? Damn it! Is this guy's eye a high-power microscope? Or is he blind? That's a lot of luck, isn't it? In a flash, the playground was boiling. All the students of Nanhai University were staring at Yi Tian, their eyes full of incredible. Not only them, but also the exchange students sent by Yenhua University were stunned and looked at Yi Tian in amazement. They almost suspected that there was something wrong with their ears, or Chi Chunsheng read the wrong name. After all, even if you look at so many photos one by one, you can't finish them in just a few seconds. How strong is Yi Tian's brain to find the right answer in just a few seconds after 10 minutes? He can tell. How can it be the moment Su Hao heard this, his face was frozen, 
and his whole face became more difficult to see. Succeed. He made it. Wan Hai looked at Yi Tian in amazement. In his gloomy eyes, there was a bright light of hope. He thought that Yi Tian, who spent so much less time than others, would surely lose this game. Especially when Yi Tian gave the answer in just a few seconds, he doubted that Yi Tian was going to give up the game directly. But no one thought that Yi Tian gave up the perfect answer to help Nanhai University get back one point. He's really different now than he was two years ago. Not only Wan Hai, but also Xiao Yuera looks at Yi Tian in a dazed way. Suddenly, she feels that Yi Tian in front of her seems to be different from the one she knew. No way it's impossible for you to recognize it in such a short time. Unless you already know the answer. At this time, Su Hao looked at Xiao Yuera's expression, his heart suddenly rose a strong jealousy, pointed to Yi Tian, angrily roared. Yes, even if he is a genius, how can he recognize it in a few seconds? I suspect there is something wrong with it. After all, he was so late that I suspect someone leaked the correct answer to him. Cheating. This must be cheating. I don't believe there are such intelligent people in the world. Su Hao's words fell, and the students of Yenhua University also made accusations one after another. Although they boast that they are the best of heaven, they think that they can't do it. In just a few seconds, they can find out the two photos that only looked for 30 seconds from 1770 extremely similar photos. You are so stupid that others can't do it. How can you be such a ridiculous person? Yes, if you can't do it, just say that other people cheat. Don't you allow genius in the world? It took you more than 10 minutes. It took others a few seconds. He didn't say you were stupid. You mean he cheated? On hearing this, the students of Nanhai University immediately became angry and retorted loudly. Before that, although they were not optimistic about Yi Tian, they were even skeptical about Wang Hai's choice of Yi Tian to participate in the competition, believing that there was a benefit transmission. But now, Yi Tian's performance is to make them realize that Yi Tian really has the qualification to participate. Not only that, but many people even hope that Yi Tian's strength will not only make Nanhai University lose less, but also lead them to victory. Now Su Hao and others slander Yi Tian and pour dirty water on him. How can they bear it? Today's examination questions are randomly selected by President Chi and me from the question bank, and the answer bank of each question can only be opened by the password that President Chi and I know together. Do you think President Chi will help me cheat? Not only these students, Wang Hai also looked at Su Hao and others after hearing the speech. He sneered and said, Principal Chi, did you cheat with me? I can assure you that there is no risk of leakage of the answers. Chi Chunxing heard, can only look at Su Hao and others, Tao. Although he did not expect that Yi Tian could answer correctly, he understood that with half of his password and half of Chi Chunxing's, the probability of cheating was lower than the probability of recognizing these pictures. Su Hao and others were speechless. After all, Chi Chunxing is the vice president of Yenhua University. It is impossible to say that he will help his competitors cheat. Haha, <laughs> even if you didn't cheat, you're right. The next two questions will be like a mirror, which will show you the original shape of a worthless scum. After biting his teeth, Su Hao looks at Yi Tian and sneers coldly. All the students of Nanhai University looked at Su Hao angrily. However, there are also some murmurs in their hearts. After all, Yi Tian's performance of finding out the right answer in just a few seconds really seems to be a success by mistake, rather than a real strength. If you can't do something, do you think others are deceived? Hearing this, Yi Tian looked at Su Hao with a faint smile, then turned to look at Chi Chunxing and said, President Chi, if I'm not wrong, there are actually 60 original pictures of the 60 Korean ladies in these 1770 photos, right? How do you know? Chi Chunxing hears the sound and looks stunned. He looks at Yi Tian and says in amazement. Among the 1770 photos, there are indeed 60 original pictures of the 60 Korean ladies. Moreover, finding out the original pictures from these photos is still an advanced test item of this topic. But because this is the first question, Shi Chunxing and Wang Hai didn't want to make it so difficult, so they ignored this advanced examination question and didn't tell the students that there were 60 original pictures in it, but who can think, this hidden problem stem, unexpectedly was discovered by Yi Tian. 
It seems that I have been deceived again. Yi Tian looked at Qi Chuanxing's appearance and gave a light smile. Then he turned to look at Su Hao and said, I don't know if you can see it? What if you can see it, what if you can't? Su Hao snorted coldly, but his heart was heavy, like a big stone. This hidden problem is indeed what he did not find. How? Yi Tian picks an eyebrow to smile, play a flavor, if you also see out, that might as well we two compare, see who can find out these 60 original pictures, don't know you have that courage? Find out 60 original pictures. Yi Tian's words fell, and the scene was in an uproar immediately. Su Hao's face sank, his five fingers brushed tightly, and a thin layer of sweat came out of his forehead. You know, these 1770 photos are intelligently synthesized from these 60 original images by AI, and each photo has similarities with the original image. And so many photos, all look once, will make people see dazzling, not to mention, these Korean miss, face is extremely similar. It's more difficult to find out 60 original pictures than to distinguish two of them. At least, Su Hao thinks he can't do it. Yi Tian. Wang Hai's face sank when he heard the news. He winked at Angel Yi and motioned him not to do so. Why, don't you dare? But Yi Tian, like Wang Hai, looks at Su Hao and smiles. How dare you, how dare you? Can you do it? Su Hao said coldly. Congratulations, that's right. I can do it. Leaf Day pick eyebrow a smile, brilliant way. Haha, <laughs> stop bragging. You are the only one with this ability. Hearing the sound, Su Hao was stunned at first, then looked at Yi Tian contemptuously, shook his head and said, if you can see it, I'll quit the competition immediately. He felt that even if he could not do it, Yi Tian, a scum who could only do it by mistake, would be even more impossible. You said it yourself Yi Tian and so on is Su Hao this sentence, eyebrow a pick, smile way. I always keep my word. Su Hao looked up at Yi Tian coldly and said, if you can't do it? If I can't do it, I'll quit the competition immediately, and I'll admit that I'm a scum from now on. Of course, I'll never see the moon again as you wish. Yi Tian raises eyebrow a smile, looking at Su Hao light way. Good. It's a deal Su Hao heard Yi Tian's later words, his eyes brightened and he answered without thinking. President Qi. Seeing this, Wan Hai quickly looks at Qi Chunsheng, hoping that he can stop the game. Haha, <laughs> Headmaster Wang, this is a competition. It's normal for students to bet with each other, and it's also in line with their youth's vigor. Let's not stop this kind of thing. Qi Chunsheng looked at Su Hao. When he saw Su Hao nodding to him, he immediately said with a smile. He knows Su Hao very well. He used to be the number one in the college entrance examination, and after entering school, his grades are the first in every year, and no one can shake him. In ancient times, such a person was once Yu Star. If Su Hao can't do it, how can Yi Tian, who can't even enter Yenhua University, do it? In his opinion, these words just now are just for Yi Tian to find a way to get the right answer for himself. Since there is no problem, come on. Yi Tian sees this, light a smile, way. How can you be so confident? Qi Chunqing saw that there was no tension and worry on Yi Tian's face, and his heart sank. According to what he thinks, Yi Tian should be flustered when he hears his approval, but he has no such expression at all. Is he still bluffing? Yes, it must be. Haha, <laughs> since Yi Tian has so much confidence, I'll give you another three minutes. Thinking of this, Qi Chunqing chuckled and motioned to the staff to reproject the 1770 photos to the electronic screen, then chuckled to Yi Tian. No, those positions have just been memorized by me. Read them out now. But to Qi Chunqing's surprise, Yi Tian didn't even look at the electronic screen. He looked up and began to read the coordinates of the picture, DP27, FQ15, X21. No way. It's absolutely impossible just as Yi Tian read out the three coordinates, Qi Chuanqing's eyes suddenly changed. He looked up like a monster and looked at Yi Tian in horror. His eyes were full of disbelief. Yi Tian read out the answer, and the answer in his hand is exactly the same. Yi Tian, keep reading. Wang Hai saw this, the original uneasy heart, suddenly a surge of ecstasy, to Yi Tian Shen voice. VC01 BN24 LK09 Yi Tian is not slow, 
as if poetry reading, one by one, slowly read out fifty-seven coordinates. His. As Yi Tian's voice falls, Wang Hai stares at Yi Tian with his eyes full of ecstasy and incomprehension. As for Qi Chuncheng, at the moment, his whole body is like a stone sculpture. His eyes are staring at Yi Tian, and his expression is completely dull. President Qi, how many mistakes has he made? When Su Hao looks at Qi Chuncheng, he suddenly has a bad feeling in his heart. He looks at Qi Chuncheng in a hurry. At the moment of utterance, he prayed to the god Buddha all over the sky in his heart, hoping that Yi Tian could be totally wrong, even if he could not be totally wrong, at least he would be wrong a few times. Qi Chuncheng woke up and looked up at Su Hao. His eyes were extremely complicated. How many mistakes? I'm sorry to disappoint Su. Yi Tian is not wrong at all. He has 60 coordinates, all right. When Wang Hai heard this, he sneered, held his head high and said in a loud voice with a bright smile on his face. What, 60 coordinates, all right? What kind of memory is that, isn't it? Now, do those guys mean that they are hoodwinked? They'll try to get one of them. At the moment, the crowd under the stage has been completely boiling. On the faces of every student of Nanhai University, they are shocked and admired. Their eyes follow Yi Tian closely, as if they are looking up to the gods. In just a few seconds, I found two pictures I had seen, and even 60 original pictures out of 1,770 pictures. Besides gods, who else can have such amazing memory? He's really not what he was two years ago. Xiaoyuara stares at Yi Tian with shock in her eyes. Last night, Yi Tian said that he would let her understand that he is not what he was two years ago. She was still full of doubt about this. She felt that even if she didn't see him for two years, no one could change much. But now, she feels that Yi Tian seems to have experienced a transformation and even become a little strange. No way. This is absolutely impossible. You scum, you can't do it. Suha completely flustered, pointed to Yi Tian, loud voice way. Learning dregs? Ha ha. Hearing the sound, Wang Hai looked at Suha with a sneer and said, You may not know that Yi Tian has the ability to never forget. You can write down everything as long as you look at it. His grades will be like this, just because he is low-key. Never forget. A scum, can have the ability of never forgetting? Su Hao's ears were buzzing, but he could hardly believe what he heard. However, Wang Hai's determined attitude told him that all this was true. At this moment, he even had a feeling that he wanted to cry without tears, and he was scolding in his heart. What's more, this guy is a student bully who never forgets. Why should he deliberately act as a student scum? Is it so fun? President Chi, I'm really sorry. I just reminded you. Unfortunately, you seem to have misunderstood me. Next, Wang Hai smiles at Chi Chuncheng with a thud on his face that if you don't know what he's saying, you may think it's true. Only those who know how to read the mind know how worried he was before the answer was announced. I'm willing to accept defeat. Now that I've done it, it's time for you to fulfill your promise? At this time, Yi Tian looks at Su Hao and smiles. Su Hao's face was livid and ugly. His lips moved back and forth, but he couldn't say a word. His cheek was like being slapped by dozens of people. It was burning and stinging. He wanted to find a way to get in. Yi Tian, Su Hao is just joking with you. Don't take it so seriously. Seeing this, Chi Chuncheng immediately hit Ha Ha and wanted to play Tai Chi to get things done. Are you kidding? I don't think Su was joking just now. And I want to know, if I lose, will you people say it's a joke? Yi Tian glanced at Chi Chunching and said with a faint smile. Chi Chunching's face immediately became embarrassed. From the beginning to the end, he did not take these as a joke. However, because he is now the loser, so it is a joke. Are you kidding? I thought the people in Yenhua University were so amazing. I couldn't afford to lose so much. I didn't even dare to admit losing the bet. Just like I can't afford to lose, I want to go to other schools to exchange ideas. If you win, you'll be superior. If you lose, you'll be joking. This double label is good enough. 
The students around the playground looked at this scene, you say, I say, to those exchange students of Yenhua University sneer. The exchange students of Yenhua University, hearing these words, turned red one by one. Many of them looked at Su Hao with shame and indignation. They complained that this guy was full and had nothing to do with finding Yi Tian's trouble. Now it's okay. Stealing chicken is not the only way to eat rice, which makes him feel ashamed. In a word, and the eyes of his companions full of complaint, it was like a heavy slap in the face, which made Su Hao's head buzzing, and his cheek tingling to the extreme. From the beginning of the competition to now, he has been riveting a force in his heart. He wants to step Yi Tian under his feet and let Xiao Yue understand how bad Yi Tian is and how excellent he is. But what he never thought was that it would be such a result in the end. In the two rounds of competition, Yi Tian won a great victory. This is just, even because of the gambling, before the end of the game, he was eliminated by Yi Tian ahead of time. Especially when he saw that Xiao Yue's eyes were completely focused on Yi Tian and did not look at him at all, he felt that his heart seemed to be broken into powder at this moment. From birth to now, he has been used to being the child of other people's family, used to all people looking at him like a genius. But now, he suddenly felt that he had become the guy who was compared by other people's children, and he was never a genius, just an ordinary person who had never met a real genius. This feeling made him feel that his life seemed to be destroyed at this moment. Poof. Eyes change, Suha only feel throat ice fishy salty, mouth eye, a mouthful of blood sprayed out, people also fell. Su Hao. Seeing this, Chi Chunching rushed to Su Hao with a look of awe inspiring. He called out loudly for fear that something might happen to Su Hao. You said it was a joke. Yi Tian looked at this scene, shrugged at will, and said with a smile, a joke can spit blood. You Yenhua University students are really vulnerable in psychology. Brush. Yi Tian this sound group ridicule, immediately let all exchange students of Yenhua University that full of hatred and indignation eyes, together fell on him. However, although they were resentful, they felt powerless. Before the competition, they thought that they would win easily and casually. They would trample on the students of Nanhai University and let them understand what the real strong are. But who can think of, halfway kill a leaf day, and this amazing performance, is led originally full of confidence of them, suddenly feel in the heart did not bottom up. But, they really can't understand, even if Yi Tian has the ability to never forget, how can he achieve such an incredible degree? But where do they know that Yi Tian not only never forgets, but also has the source of heaven's eye? After he opened Yuan Tianian, every detail of the photo was engraved in his heart. As long as he compared it with other pictures, he could find the answer. Moreover, Yuan Tianian has the ability to deduce. With this ability, he can easily deduce the original photos from these 1770 pictures. Help Su Hao down. When Qi Chunqing heard Yi Tian's words, his face became hard to see. After he told people to lift Su Hao off the stage, he turned to look at the other students and said in a deep voice, Next, you can only win, you can't lose. Only win, not lose. The exchange students of Yenhua University immediately nodded heavily and said in a deep voice. Yenhua University is the best university in China, while Nanhai University is only a local quasi-first-class university. If they lose this competition, how can the students of Yenhua University raise their heads in front of others? Next, proceed to the second item. Qi Chunqing looks at the exchange students' common hatred. He nods with satisfaction and looks at Yi Tian provocatively. Then he looks at Wang Hai and says. Next, blind twist cube. Wang Hai nodded, then said in a deep voice, there are 14 Rubik's cube in front of the players. You have 10 minutes to familiarize yourself with the sound and recovery formula of each Rubik's cube when it twists. After that, we will randomly select an audience and randomly select a disordered Rubik's cube for each player. Then we need the players to analyze the Rubik's Cube according to the sound of the Rubik's Cube and the corresponding formula the blind screw was restored. Those who succeed within 3 minutes win, those who exceed 3 minutes fail in this assessment hiss. I'll go. This one is more difficult than the last one. It's not only a test of memory, but also a test of hearing. Damn, I have to remember the sound of 14 Rubik's Cube in 10 minutes, and also the recovery method of each Rubik's Cube. 
If I can recover one Rubik's Cube in ten minutes, it's very powerful. As soon as Wang Hai's voice fell, the students of Nanhai University immediately gasped and trembled. Now that the rules are clear, you're familiar with the twist sound and the recovery formula. Chi Chunqing said faintly and waved to the staff to start the demonstration according to the rules. In a flash, the whole scene immediately fell into silence, each player's eyes were tightly fixed on the changing Rubik's Cube in the hands of the staff, trying their best to remember the sound they made when they twisted, as well as the recovery formula. Even, many players because of tension, palms are sweating at the moment. However, only E. Tian, with his face as usual, looks at the scene with his legs crossed and smiles. He even has time to pay attention to the attentive expression of other players around him. It's not like he's coming to participate in the competition, but it's more like he's coming to see the excitement. This guy. Some exchange students of Yenhua University look at Yi Tian's appearance and feel angry. People like myself are so focused, but he is so relaxed and casual. In this way, this guy was able to win before. Is there any reason in the world? Do your own business quietly, and don't be influenced by others. Seeing this, Chi Chunsheng, regardless of the belief of watching chess without saying a word, is a real gentleman, brazily speaks to the exchange students of Yenhua University. After one word, the exchange students of Yenhua University immediately concentrated on the Rubik's Cube. Time is up, everyone, turn around and close your eyes. Ten minutes, fleeting, Wang Hai after the end of time, looking at Yi Tian and other contestants sink. A language falls, leaf day etc. immediately turn ahead, then closed an eye. This classmate, this classmate, you guys come up and randomly select Rubik's Cube for the players. Wang Hai, together with Qi Chunsheng, randomly selected 14 students from the stage and handed out Rubik's Cube to the players. When the Rubik's Cube is released, the player can close his eyes, twist the Rubik's Cube six times to confirm the sound, three times to twist, and three times to return to the original position. When the Rubik's Cube was released, Wang Hai immediately said in a deep voice. With a word falling, Yi Tian and other contestants quickly turn around, then close their eyes and grope with both hands to find the magic cube in front of them. At the moment of touching the Rubik's Cube, many competitors' hands began to tremble violently. You know, three twists, and then three twists to recover, these six opportunities are not only precious, but also to determine which Rubik's Cube you are getting through the sound. Moreover, once the three recovery steps are wrong, there will be no way to recover the Rubik's Cube, which leads to the failure of this competition. So, this time, the hand must be steady, the heart must be fine. Wow wow but just when the players were still breathing deeply and calm, there was a sudden sound of twisting Rubik's Cube along Yi Tian's side. The sound, like a storm, hit the hearts of the people, making their hearts tremble. It's over. Closely following, Leaf Day hands will Rubik's Cube toward the body in front of a put, Lang Soundway. Did he make it? Hearing Yi Tian's voice, the attention of all the players was immediately attracted by Yi Tian, and they could not help but prick up their ears to know whether he successfully completed the competition. I went, and I succeeded. He only twisted twice, and then determined which Rubik's Cube he was holding. Damn, what is this? Hearing and memory. We Nanhai University has such a god it's so tough, it's amazing. If you don't see it with your own eyes, who can believe it's true? Yi Tian, great god at this time, along the field, there was a lot of noise, and every student below was shocked by Yi Tian's amazing method. He couldn't believe it. It's a success again this guy is really a genius. Shi Chunqing looks at the Rubik's Cube with the same color on each side in front of Yi Tian's body. His face is full of disbelief, and his heart has been shocked to the point of no more. In such a short time, the game ended. It's not a genius. It's not a god. What is it? However, he really couldn't understand how such an excellent student would come to Nanhai University instead of Yenhua University, the top university in China. Even at this moment, Shi Chuanxing's mind cannot help but come up with an idea, began to think, after the end of the three rounds of competition, whether you can use some conditions, tempt Yi Tian to transfer school, or apply for the second degree of Yenhua University, in this way, Yenhua University can more than one top player for brain competition. Well, Yi Tian can open his eyes. Other students, hurry up and recover. At this time, Wang Hai had already narrowed his eyes into a line with a smile, 
laughing at the other students who were stunned. It's over. After Wang Hai's words fell, several exchange students who took part in the competition looked ugly immediately. Just now they are highly concentrated, but they are shocked by Yi Tian's voice of twisting the Rubik's Cube, and then by the news of Yi Tian's successful recovery of the Rubik's Cube. They are in a great confusion. At the moment, they have forgotten the corresponding voice of the Rubik's Cube in their hands and the formula of recovery. Attention, all students. And just when these students were confused, their hands were shaking wildly, and a layer of sweat came out of their palms, Wang Hai's voice suddenly sounded along the field, last minute, please hurry up and speed up.